literally. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Every day at approximately 7 p.m. Eastern time, sometimes a little bit later, I take a really big, stinky BM. And it's called this stream. I'm very regular, uh, just how I like it. I eat a lot of fiber. I drink Metamucil. Oh. I, th there was a time where I was having this, this particular, it was a... It was because I was having a medical issue. Oh, okay. And I was having this fiber drink. Was it herpes? No. Um, no. It, was herpes. it. Why, why would I need fiber drink for herpes? Uh, you know, that's a really good point. Continue. Sorry. I guess. It makes your pee, your pee come out soft. Sorry. I no. guess. <laughs> Sorry. Gotta got clean out the bladder, I guess. No. You. So this stuff, you know, you just mix it with water. It's supposed to be orange flavored. Mm hmm. I, I don't know why, but it was slimy. I've had it before. I've had it. You've before. had it before. Had you it know before, what yeah. I'm talking about. Yeah, it's got a real gross texture to it. Um, I liked the taste. I liked the orange taste. I just wish it wasn't slimy. I don't know why it's slimy. You're right though. The it is slimy. The taste was fine. Like it was. It was your standard kind of obviously orange flavored rather than orange. All right, so it's so it, it, you had to soften soften your stool because you ruptured your butt with the Bowser amiibo. That's all right. That's how I'm interpreting what took place here. I mean, who could blame you? Have you seen the Bowser amiibo? The spikes were a problem, but yeah, he is kind of daddy. What? <laughs> yeah, he is. Chad, I, hi. Oh, sorry, go ahead, buddy. I don't wanna... No, I was go I was gonna say unironically, some of the fan art of Bowser and Luigi is kind of cute. Remember when that was a thing? Is that still a thing? Where they do like dad, uh, dad Bowser and like like Twink Luigi? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, like th yeah, it, it's just very wholesome sort of. Oh, you know they're living together and yeah, it's wholesome. They're buddies. It's, it's very yeah, it's very wholesome. They're like Bert and Ernie, and Luigi gives Bowser a, bit, a radical yeah. BJ. Uh, there's totally a Bert and Ernie thing going on. Guys, thanks for coming tonight. Uh, as you could probably tell by now, I'm joined by Fred Newton. Hello, Fred. I hope you're having a wonderful night, buddy. I am. Um, I, I spent some of the afternoon playing Barrow Trauma for the first time, I was telling you, and I am loving it. It's like a, a space, uh, it's kind of like Space thir space Station 13, but a um, little, bit, little bit more interesting, a little bit better. The, the the first comparison that I made actually was to Pulsar. Remember, we oh, played yeah, really? that with Rev. Right. Yeah. But it's it, like it a 2D feels... experience, yeah. It's a little different because you don't have one person filling every role. Like, I was on a crew of 10 people. And so you have, sometimes you have people that fill the same role, <laughs> but sometimes something I really love about it is you don't have to be specialized. You can just be an assistant if you're learning the game. You could be a floater uh, and just float around yeah. into the different departments like a floater, like a floating turd. Yeah. Um, it's great. So, uh, <laughs> so I, I actually, I, a moment, can I share a moment that I have with it this afternoon? Yeah, please, by all means, hit us. Okay. I, so I was playing an assistant because I was still learning the game. Mm hmm and I was running around. I noticed that we did that we didn't really have people manning all of the guns that we needed going on. So I I grabbed a gun and I started firing. And pretty soon, you know, there were there, there was someone else on it. So I'm like, okay, I'm I'm an assistant. I'll I thought abdicate. for a minute you were you were firing a gun in a submarine, and I was like, oh wow. That's... Oh no, you 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 can do that. Like things board your board craft. It. Right, right, okay, have, yeah, okay. that that can be a problem. But you were manning a gun like to shoot the creatures outside the ship. Yeah, so yeah. I, I started blasting, blast, and, and and then I realized, okay, well I don't need to be on the gun anymore. I go lower into the ballasts, and. I realize, hey, wait a minute. Like, th we have these big rail guns, and you have to load the shells individually, and there's nobody doing that, and we were low. So I was like, I guess I'm going to run railgun shells. You became so I shell just, boy. It, it, it was shell so intuitive. Boy? I just realized, wait a minute, this is a job that needs to be done, and it's immediately obvious, and it's right here, and no one else is doing it. I start, so I start going into the ballast, grabbing a railgun shell, then climbing back up the ladder, loading it in, and just sort of running them. It, it sounds it like a really cool felt, game. I want to. Really I want to check it out. I'd like to it check it out really with cool. you at some point, if you don't mind. Yeah, I'd I'd love to. I'd love to try it out with you at some point. Uh, oh yeah, we kind of have a little uh, a new a new mangling of your name, uh, Frot uh, Nudsen. How do you feel about <laughs> Frot? 
Um, I mean, it's, it's one of the Frat. methods. It's one of the methods to greet each other now with COVID, with so you don't have to shake hands. Oh right, it's elbow bump, fist bump, uh, a frot, or uh, just waving from a distance, right? Well, docking. Was right, or docking was. Docking was the, I did see that meme. Yeah, it was docking. Uh, <laughs> so what's going on here tonight? Well, chat. Uh, I think I had mentioned to you guys that I was interested in fucking around with the uh, the face depixelizer. Which is a neural net AI algorithm uh, mumbo jumbo computer uh, monster that they have fed dozens and dozens and dozens of images of real people. Uh, we did discuss this during a, a previous stream, uh, mm -hmm. and the result, the idea of it is, it will create, it will use the pictures that it's been fed to create an image of a quote unquote uh, actual person, an imaginary person, uh, based on the data that you give to it, the pixel data that you give to it. Uh, I want to read. I want to read a little bit, a little bit about this real quick, so we uh, we all sure. on this on the on the same page. We all understand what it is. This is from designboom.com. A new AI-powered app called Face Depixelizer can turn pixelated images into high-resolution images, just like it happens in sci-fi and crime-based movies, like you know, computer enhance. Enhance. Uh, created by Russian developer. Dinis Malamanov. I mean, it's like his name is Penis, but spelled with a D, and he's definitely fucking got a Trojan on my computer now. The app uses StyleGAN, where the AI looks for pictures that, when downscaled, will resemble the original pixelated face, as you see happening in the image before you. The truth is that Face Depixelizer doesn't magically depixelate a photo and reveal the actual person, but rather it can generate an alternative image where it finds a photo with a similar look and turns the pixelated image into a high-res realistic one. Once the app was released, users around the world started playing with the AI, which of course would show different results each time, even if the picture was the same. For example, Twitter users showcased examples of how famous video game characters... Uh, I think we, we took a look at this one. That's, yeah. um... What is it? Doom Guy? That's Doom Guy. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, or there, there was another one we were looking at where it was, I think, the guy from... By Quake or something, some other dude uh, with a big, very, very square jaw. Uh, some and and my idea as soon as I saw this, I was like, I want to take a bunch of uh, you know pixel portraits from video games like they did, and just ones that they haven't done yet, and just slam them into this AI thing and uh, see what we get, and make a whole stream out of it. Uh, and I did see them do it with Shane. In the, in the tweet thread, but I figured like Stardew Valley was the perfect game to do this with because you got a lot of characters and all of those pixel portraits are just, just like fucking made for this. They're the right size. They're the right everything. Stardew Valley was a home run for this fucking thing. I asked Fred to come join me because Fred is a big Stardew Valley fan, right, bud? No, I love Stardew Valley. I yeah. have a ton of time in it. It's a fantastic game. I, I, you know, I've streamed the shit out of it, played, I played the shit out of that game. Um, also... Some other users started noticing how this AI tool was not accurate when it came to processing uh, black faces. For example, let me slam oh, this no. one in here. This one was uh, very, very famous. <laughs> when processing a pixelated picture of Barack Obama, face depixelizer turned him into a white man. And even if users <laughs> continued to import different pixelated pictures of Obama, the result was consistently wrong, meaning that these data and algorithms are mainly trained primarily with white faces, making them racially biased, unfortunately. But, in his defense, Malia Minov said that the tool was not made to show what the pixelated image actually looks like, but actually just to find any face that fits. This tool will not restore the original face, he commented on Twitter. It can help with the identification of facial features. So again, it's not meant to, like, oh, you have a blurry photo of somebody, and then you put it in, and you can find out what they look like. That's sci-fi fake bullshit. That's not what this is. It can't do that. Mm -hmm. right? I, I actually have two stories related to this. Yeah. Um, y you mentioned that this is a machine learning algorithm, correct? Yeah, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. So there was something kind of similar that happened back with chess, uh, early chess algorithms, uh, where they tried assigning um, machine learning algorithms to learn how to play chess. They fed a chess program like 200,000 games mm. from grandmasters. Mm -hmm. And they said, okay, well, we don't even have to give it the rules. We can just you know, show it really good games and then maybe it'll be able to play really good games. Yeah. So they decided to feed it everything, they taught it, and then they finally tested it. They decided to play a game against it. Mm -hmm. It played a pretty normal opening for the first few moves, and then it immediately blundered its queen. Blendered. 
I'm out of chess. Blundered. Oh, blundered. Oh, oh, blundered. 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 Like, it immediately gave away its queen for no reason. So on its first run, this algorithm, despite having studied the games of uh, 200,000 games between chess grandmasters, bungled its queen on its second turn. Yes, it bungled the queen, and they, like, they were really confused. That's amazing. They're like, why did it do this? Yeah, yeah. And then they realized, whenever a grandmaster sacrifices its queen, it's to get a crushing attack, like a checkmate. So this algorithm said, oh, well, that means I have to sacrifice my queen. So... <laughs> Oh, so, so it, it just thought gave it, away it, its right, queen. right, right. So it, it thought didn't that, understand that... why mm -hmm. it, why these grandmasters were sacrificing their queens. It just it's sacrificed just, its queen. It thought like, ah, oh, if the queen dies, I win. Here you yeah, go, exactly. It. Right, exactly. Like sacrificing a queen to the algorithm was synonymous with victory. And that was in the eighties, I believe, right? Or night, early nineties, or I, I think it was the eighties. Is when, are you talking? Are you talking, um, are you talking about deep, that. deep blue? Is, it, um, are, is this deep, deep blue, blue or no, another? No, no, another, deep blue. another this, okay. this is a completely different and um, unrelated chess. Because deep blue computer. is the you know the fa the famous one. Um, but you mm -hmm. know apparently that technology you you'd think uh, has improved since then. I mean we had a lot of fun with AI Dungeon, but AI Dungeon was uh, pretty stupid. Uh, we it's, had it was, amusing though. It was it was amusing, but uh, most of the time it just kind of you know you'd get in like these loops where it would just regurgitate the same shit. Over and over, and it right. didn't make any sense. Uh, right. Um, yeah, and then you end up with things like White Obama. But I guess that's because, well, he's he was in Russia where he was giving it pictures of Russian people. I, I don't think there's a lot of Probably, you know, people yeah. of African descent this, in, Ru in Russia, to be fair. This guy looks pretty Russian. Uh, like, yeah, this, Russian this, Obama. This guy looks pretty Gopnik. What a twist. Uh, Someone in chat said it looks like my dentist. I actually... I, <laughs> I actually had another story related to this uh, mm -hmm. that this reminded me of. Yeah. Um, early photograph, te like photographing technology, um, it was quite good at capturing uh, white people. But whenever it took a picture of a black person, they'd just be this black smudge. I think I had the, read, th read something a... about that recently. It was uh, it was the kind of film that, that they were using. Exactly. Uh, like, yeah. the technology was developed on white people primarily. And right, so, right, right. Like, they, they just didn't make it for black people. And so when they, like, when a photograph was taken of a black person, it was using technology that was intended for white people. Not right? like it, very it was intended poggers. to capture here let, let me rephrase that because that sounds really bad out of context mm. it was designed to capture images of white people that's where all the experimentation and research had gone right 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 um i see a bunch of people subbing i think what i'm going to do guys i'm going to wait till the end of the stream to to call out the subs i'm going to look at the uh the people who subbed there's a list of 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 people who subbed i'm going to just do it then cuz again when I have a guest, I don't, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to talk over him, you know. Um, all right. So, Fred, what I have done here, and I spent. Oh, uh, by, by the way, by yeah. the way, like when I'm finished talking, go ahead and like derail and thank people for subbing. In fact, you know what? Hey, Oven Mitt Deluxe, thank you for gifting three subs to my friend's channel. You have to. Do... I actually that makes me really happy to see. Actually, legitimately, oh. I'm really happy that people are supporting my friend. Thank you, buddy. Get, do the welcome to the family thing. Yeah, you have to do the welcome to the family voice. <clears throat> I'm, I'm going to do this full down the rabbit hole style. Go. Welcome back to the family. <laughs> that's not a very good... You know that's supposed to be the dad, uh, the family patriarch from uh, Resident Evil 7? Oh, it, it is? Yeah, because I started doing that like around the time I was streaming that game, and it just kind of stuck. Uh, his name is Jack... Uh, I don't know what the fuck. Jack, Jack Jerkoff. Anyway, I took all the uh, Stardew Valley character portraits. I slammed them into this motherfucker. Uh, and I got some uh, I got some pretty fun results. Now, uh, you're going to... Yeah. There, there's one that you might not have done that I really hope we could do. Could we do a side-by-side -side of the original bear and the most smoother bear? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I don't even know. I, again, like... I never saw the bear in Stardew Valley, so when I saw the smoother bear, I didn't even fucking know. I, I, I didn't know there was a bear, so I didn't have anything to compare it to. I would hope he's bigger <laughs> and at least a little bit smoother. But one of the things I realized while I was doing this, for all the hours that I have in Stardew Valley, I have no fucking idea who half of these characters are. 
and I gave I, I ignored 90% of these fucking characters. It's amazing. Um, <laughs> you want to you want to take a look at some of them? Let's do it. All I'm right. Ready. So, let's start with uh, let's start with Abigail. You know uh you know Abigail, right? Yeah. Uh, oh god, yeah, guys, we're going to find out um like w we have the technology to make your waifus real now. Yeah, but That's be careful be careful what you wish for. <laughs> uh some of these are some of these are pretty comical. Most of them though are just like weird and scary. Um I got wildly differing results with a lot of these. Some of them I, I, I couldn't even do. For example, I, the, actually, the only Stardew Valley character I could not depixelize was uh, Haley. The fucking really? thing refused to depixelize Haley. And, dude, I cropped it. I tried to change the size of it. I fucking, no matter what I did, this thing would not depixelize Haley. And I have no fucking idea why. Probably because she's so basic. That, like, her basic bitchness just, like, <laughs> fucking... It overrode the programming and, like, fucking stack-dumped the entire fucking algorithm because of how <laughs> basic she is. Because she's already perfect. Here's the thing about it. The fucking... The, the thing tells you, right? It says the best candidates for uh, depixelization are when the person is looking directly at the camera. Mm-hmm. Almost all of... Haley is doing that in her portrait. Haley was, I thought, the perfect candidate. I couldn't wait to see how it depixelized Haley, and I could not get it to do Haley. For whatever fucking reason, again, it refused to do it. If you, if you guys want to try to depixelize Haley, I, I really wanted to depixelize her. Like, that felt like an important one to do. I know a lot of you fucking simp for Haley, but I could not get it to do Haley. And again, it is the Who only one. Oh my god. Imagine being She's a like simp for Haley. Yeah, people are out there simp like simping on Haley. You believe that? Just absolutely no substance. We're being mean to Haley. I know some of you people like Haley, so she. No, you know what? I'm I'm fine with that. I'm fine being mean to Haley because she looks like she smells like two dollar perfume <laughs> from Walmart. <laughs> she's got that energy. Yeah, she's got that big Karen energy. Um, how do you feel about Abigail though? Abigail's great. She's fantastic. She like her. She doesn't realize that she's a she's a witch. She's got magic. Big titty goth GF. Yeah, right. exactly. Uh, how do you feel about her now? <gasps> how did it get that? What? I was not expecting. What? Yeah, the years have it's... not been kind to, to, to Haley. Um, yeah, uh, so uh, she's a fucking elderly dude. What's that? What? What is that? She became Jeff where you age incredibly quickly. Uh, prosopagnosia. I just say that for everything now. After nine nine nine, I have no idea what the what the condition actually is. Shrink Terminal the. Th seven. This will be very telling to you. You ready, Fred? I'm ready. I'm gonna shrink it. You looking at it? Oh! You see that designer choker? That that Haley's yeah. got. She oh, the thing. Okay. The thing thought that the choker was was the mouth, right? That is fascinating. I would not have expected that. That makes so much more sense. Right, but it it kind of ignored the fact that there's you know lips and eyes. Probably what I what I think would be cool to do with uh with Abigail would be to to crop from the neck from the choker up and get it to just depixelize the choker up. I did Krobus, Linboy, and I got to tell you, he <laughs> might be my favorite. He might be my favorite. Okay. He might be my favorite. So so here's the thing, right? Yeah. Like a, a woman like that, like I, I I could see myself growing like when I'm old, you know. Yeah. I I've married. We've been together for 50 years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Holding hands with like, with Haley, with the the old uh, the older with, with Abigail, you mean? No, uh, a bit <laughs> With Abigail, the one on the right, though, like you'll spend yeah, your, yeah. your you'll spend your autumn years with with Abigail on the right. Yeah, absolutely. Are you kidding me? Sure. You know, you know what I love, like the purple hue, like this this person is <laughs> right. is, is wearing like purple lipstick. Are you seeing the purple? Wait a lipstick? minute. Wait a minute. The the fucking <laughs> alder algorithm gets purple people, but not black people. You're gonna see more things like that. Yeah, you're gonna see more <laughs> uh, bizarre bizarre colors. Uh, but yeah, she kind of looks like the dude from the TheraWorks relief commercial. Life is pain. 
Yeah, I don't, okay. I don't know. It, it, yeah, it made Obama white, so I don't, I don't, I don't fucking know. I again, it's it's made from a guy whose name is Dinas, and he's and he's from Russia. All right, so maybe that tells you all you need to know. Dinas, not Dennis. Okay, because there was only one N. His name is Dinas. Maybe it's D Nice, like from the Key and Peel sketch. D Nice. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know the sketch you talk about. Oh, he just goes around and mispronounces everyone's name like A A Ron. A <laughs> A Ron. Yeah. That's like that's a that's a classic sketch at this point. Thanos chat, a little little th uh, little Thanosy action. Little so, th <laughs> if you liked Abigail, I hope I did a really good job of uh, of ruining the character for you. Now. The next one is probably one of the better ones that I got. All right. Um, how many of you guys like Alex? Are you a fan of Alex, Fred? Alex is... I got to be in the right mood to handle Alex. What's his deal in Stardew Valley? I didn't do much interaction with Alex. Uh, he's the jock. Like, he's a pretty stereotypical jock. He's just like the meathead Chad. He's the He's the Chad. Yeah, pretty much. Like he he's also kind of cocky. He's like, "Oh yeah, I don't need to practice football. Like I'm I'm just naturally great." See, our uh, coach said I could just sit around and think about football uh, and I'll do as well as somebody who actually practiced. It's a real study, by the way. Did you ever hear about that? They got the two football teams uh, and they had one of them run through the uh, the plays every day and then they had the other one uh, I think just like Maybe just watch videos of the plays, and the team that only watched the videos of the plays, I like, crushed the team that actually practiced them. Really? Or some, something like that. This was years ago. I'm not remembering the exact thing, but basically the team that didn't practice the plays beat the team that practiced the plays. That's... I don't need to practice football. I, I am the football. Yeah, he's got the fucking IQ of a just a, a lump of tanned pigskin. Wait, could I do this with chess? Just uh... watch Grandmasters play chess and be like, yeah, I can do that. Theoretically, <laughs> um, do you want to see what happened with Alex? You want to see Alex's yeah, glow, let's, glow up? Let's go. You want to see go. the glow up? Right. Wait Can, a minute. Is the chin going to become the mouth? Could we make him chattier? Could we make him even more chatty? I think we can't. I think we can't. <laughs> oh, no. I think we can't. Uh, we can make him Tilda Swinton, though, if you're interested in that. All right. He looks. He looks like a combination of Shaggy and Jessica Yaniv. Like, Scoob! Who's Jessica Yaniv? You don't want to know. You uh, don't want to know. Like, let's get some Scooby snacks, Scoogert. He's uh, pretty rancid, um, but at least he kind of looks like a real person this time, and he's not purple or whatever. Um, you can see yeah, he's got some green flesh. He's got a little bit of an ogre thing happening. A little bit of ogreitis. Soggy? You want to <laughs> call him Soggy? Like a, a bootleg, <laughs> a bootleg Shaggy? Soggy. Nice. Fred. He, like, yeah. what, look, what, what's he got going on on his temple? Okay, I did want to draw your attention to that. It looks like a sci-fi kind of a Bluetooth, like, calm thing. It totally right? does. And, and, weirdly, we are going to see a lot of that tonight, inexplicably. Inexplicably, I have no idea what it is. I have no idea why it's happening. It might have something to do with his eye, but that is in a bunch of these. Just that weird little, like, yeah, like Star Trek co type comm device or, or, or some kind of sci fi. I have no fucking idea what it is. This, no, this would totally pass as an alien on Star Trek. Shaggy become Detroit. <laughs> Yeah, like a kind of one of the, the the humanoid, more more humanoid races. Well, that's most Star Trek, right? But I wanna... like Zoink Scoop. We will not handle this sort of aggression from the Federation, man. Like, Zoinks, they didn't obey the rules of first contact. Notice how in the original pixel portrait, uh, Alex is facing to the left. They, okay. Yeah, they pretty much all are in Stardew. Na but now. In the depixelized version, he's facing to the right. Yeah, what, it's. What do you I'm think that's about? To figure out. I'm trying to figure out what. Like, what's I wonder going if on? we make it smaller, if we can see. You want to try to do that? You wanna... Because computer yeah, in small uh, uh, in it. Uh, on enhance. Enhance. We'll smallify it. It's. Um, no, I I really am not. You're seeing... not seeing it. Oh, right? oh wait, wait. Mm -hmm. So the neck became the chin. Yes, yes, yes. Good the eye. The neck yes. became the chin, mm -hmm. and I, I saw that earlier. And then the mouth became a crease, like under the nose, kind of. Yep. 
Yeah, it became like the crease of the nose. Like everything got shifted and... down, kind of because of the neck. Right, because that happened. That happened with Abigail. That's mm -hmm. happened. I wonder how many times this is gonna happen. The neck being the, the thing thinking that the neck is part of the face happens on almost every one of these. I'll tell you right now. Okay. It happens <laughs> on almost every one of these. I, I'm willing to bet that... So you see there's a lot of shading on these characters, right? To help yeah. define them. Mm -hmm, it's, mm -hmm. it's part of the style, and it's a very common part of artistic styling. Mm -hmm. But the photographs that were taken of these people's faces, I'm willing to bet, were done in very specific lighting conditions. Right. Or um, a, a majority of them were done in specific lighting conditions. The AI crust on the temples appear, appears a lot on AI uh, gen faces for some reason. That this person does not exist program has the same problem. No shit. Because what it's doing is th this person that we're looking at um, is not uh, an individual like person. It's an amalgam. Like the eyes might have came from one fucking photo. The nose came from another photo. The mouth came from another photo. You see what I'm saying? That's right. what I think yeah, yeah. is going on. And That's yeah. what I was thinking. Like it, it looks for noses and eyes and mouths in the database that matches right exactly that yeah. match but yeah. in these pixel portraits it's it's right the shading is making it think it's something that it's not and it's making it go all fucking ape shit hollow monster mm. says i sent an abigail png without the neck that i was hoping that you guys would jump in on this that's the type of thing uh, i'm Fantastic. A, a, a part of me is feeling like I wished I had cropped a lot of the necks out beforehand. Like, I didn't think about it, like, until just now. Uh, oh, I was hoping you guys would run it through the actual AI generator for me because I can't do that right now. It takes too long. Uh, what I can do is I could give you guys a link to it. Because how I became aware of this in the first place, again, it was on Twitter. Uh, I will link you guys the tweet. Uh, there's two links in there. One of them takes you to the GitHub where you can actually use the fucking thing. And the other one makes you download a uh, a zip file that uh, puts Dennis's Trojan on your fucking computer. So good luck with that. Um, no, it's a README file and shit. Um, so that's that's Alex. Uh, pretty interesting. Uh, I got another one of my faves coming up here. How many of you guys like Emily? How many of you wifed up Emily? How many of you have Emily as a top tier waifu? Fred, how do you feel about Emily? Uh, she's a little too wooey for me. Wooey, what does that mean? Uh, do you know what woo is? Like mysticism type stuff? Yeah, like basically. She's mysticism. got a little bit of that going on, right? Yeah, uh, she, she's like, I can feel a good energy coming from this. And it's like, bitch, what kind, like, what do you mean by energy? Like, oh. do you think you could build out a thermonuclear power plant from this? <laughs> you stupid. Yeah, uh, it's kind of like that feng shui, like things have power, things have energy, uh, energy moves. It's all like... It, it's not know, my it's, thing. It, it's, it, it's, to put it kindly, it's not my thing. She believes in like massage crystals and shit. You know, like, oh, uh, you just put put a little crystal on your back and it'll take care of all your knots. It'll make you like, be, cure your erectile dysfunction, right? I'm, I'm one of those people that's like, I'm glad it works for you. I think for Emily, uh, some of that energy that she was feeling was maybe coming from the Necronomicon. Uh, because <laughs> she she Ooh. has become oh. something else. This is like an Ao Oni character or something. Who's that? Like one of the ogres from Ao Oni. Al Oni, no idea. Al Al Oni, like blue ogre. Uh, you know what? Hold on, I'm gonna link it to you. I uh, here, I've got it. Uh, this. Let me take okay. a look at this. I uh, get a link. Okay, copy paste this. Oh ew! Oh, what is that? Got a little bit of that going on. Oh, what he's talking about this? <laughs> what what is it? It's a YouTube channel or what? It's a That's game. Rough. Uh, I hadn't heard of it. Oh, and he's a game. Um, all right. So the years have not been kind to Emily. So all right, you're you're playing Stardew Valley, right? Or you, fuck, it's not a video game. It's life. You meet Emily. You know, you get you get married, and the years go by, and you have a you have a somewhat good life together, and yeah, you know, just yeah. um, one day you just wake up and you you roll over in bed, and uh, and you got this looking back at you. Do you uh, what, what's your play? Um, you know, I don't think I'd end up with this person anyway because she looks like she has an herb garden and constantly smells like, ah, uh, yeah, like sage. Smell my turmeric, my dear. I worked very hard on my turmeric. Turmeric. 
She's got turmeric. Long she, Bjork. She, she's like someone <laughs> that... Long Bjork. She, she, yeah. She's someone that your mom would introduce you to and you'd never talk to her again. Someone in chat said she looks like David Bowie and I'm gonna tell you half of these, half of these things look like David Bowie. I'm not kidding you. I, I thought this multiple times while I was doing this. When the fucking AI algorithm doesn't know what to make them look like, it just inserts a picture of David Bowie. I swear, I swear <laughs> to God. T tell me, I'm tell me I'm wrong by the end. No, of this. you're completely correct. Tell wait, you're gonna you're, there's more of them. There's more. I, there's half of them at least are Bowie. Also, she's got the hair crystal. Like there's someone in chat yep. pointed that yep. out. I, I, I wanted to point that out. She's got a hair merald. There it is again. That weird AI, uh, AI sci-fi com device. Also, notice that she's naked, and just really sunburned. You seeing that? That's not a shirt. Yeah. Like that's just her flesh. Oh, you know what yep. she looks like? What? She looks like what I would. She looks almost like what I would imagine a more human version of Baba Yaga would look like. <laughs> again, I don't know what Baba Yaga is. Oh, I made a. I, I'm. I'll. I'll send you the video that I made on her. You a did a video ago. on Bob, um, Bob Yaga. I must have missed that. I. F I thought I watched all your videos at this point. I really missed one. Uh, Grim Archives. It's Grim Archives. Oh, uh, so Baba it's like Yaga a different is a mystical series. creature. Yeah, Baba Yaga is a mystical creature. Is that anything like the? Uh, oh fuck, the the Globa Globa Ding Dong. Remember that that weird video that was going around from that kids movie. Glob glow gab glab. Glob glow glab glab. The glob glow glab glab. Everybody no, it's knows glob about go the glob. Glob go glab glab. You, you telling me you can pronounce it like like offhand? You, you I were... am the glob go gab glab. Well, let me say, let me guess. You know all the lyrics? No. He always surprises no, no, no. me with like the songs that he knows. Like he could sing all the lyrics to the furiously masturbating or vigorously masturbating song. I always do I put that. effort into that. You, you fucking sat down and you like you, you memorized the lyrics like you you yeah, wanted to be I, I able to bust them out at any time. Yeah, I was sitting there looking at the screen and I was like. Ta -ta 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 it's an earworm, man. Well, what's this bit again? I go back. Oh yeah, swerving and I'm screaming and. Like, she looked... I literally did that. <laughs> she, she looks like thing one and thing two. Holy fucking shit, he's right. Uh, thing one. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she does. Uh, well, you know what? That, that's uh, what it is. I'll show you the, the thing one and thing two from the movie because it's creepier. Oh, well, actually, Google, like, won't let me do it. Never mind. Mm -hmm. uh, if, if you don't know, it's a Dr. Seuss. Uh, a Dr. Seuss story, but that's fucking perfect. The red clothes, the the blue hair. Well, I guess the original Stardew Valley character, like, she already was one of those, right? A little bit, I guess, yeah. Maybe it was the inspiration. I mean, she's walking around with blue hair in a, in a, in a fucking... For some reason, you know, a, a I got girl. blue hair. Got to have the blue hair. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Yeah, J.O. Crystals. Cool. All right, so I hope I've ruined Emily for everybody. If anybody here still likes Emily, um, that's upsetting to me because I feel like this was a pretty good, uh, a pretty good deterrent to you liking Emily. Um, stop liking Emily. That's my goal tonight to just <laughs> ruin all of your husbandos and waifus for this game. Uh, Fred, how do yes. you feel about Harvey? I like Harvey. I think Harvey's sweet. I think Harvey's cool. Yeah, Pretty I think Harvey's a good boy. Old Harvey. Th again, I don't remember Harvey, like, at all. He's I, I just don't, don't remember Harvey. He's the guy who, like, patches you up if you collapse in the cave. Is, is that who he is to you? I, I, yeah, like, I, I didn't know you could marry him. He's a marryable character? Yes. All right, well, not anymore. <laughs> what <laughs> happened? Um, I, what I happened? really don't fucking know, dude. Um, hell happened. You you see, he's shrouded in a smog of death. Like, yes. he's like a fucking Nazgul from Lord of the Rings. This, th like, this <laughs> is like, who was it, who was it that penny. made, um, what was it, Ivan the Terrible and his son? Oh, that painting that you showed me. He looks like the yeah. artist, you're saying? Yeah, it, it, it looks like something he would do toward the end of his life. Right? It's very, th this whole thing is very painterly, except, like, it looks like a Photoshop. Because, right. like, the placement of the eyes, like, the eye is coming off of the face you see like that a hammerhead that shark. Bul <laughs> yeah, that bulging eyeball over there, or, like, the pop-eyed goldfish, as we all know from Animal Crossing now. See, like, if, if a person actually looked like this, you know, whatever, except for, like, the bulge, like, if you just took the face mm -hmm. and you moved it into the right place, it would look 
better. Like, it would look like a human. This looks like a gray, like a gray alien was trying to create a disguise to and blend just in with didn't humans. quite put the face in the right place on the head meat. <laughs> they, they live. You know why you're saying that? Because prime the shape of the gray's heads is like a, an upside down teardrop. And the fucking right. cheeks are so sunken in. Like, you see that cheek yes. sink sinking in there? Yes, yes, yes. Um, again, I think it would have been worth it to crop everything below the neck out and then see what the thing would, would, would give us. Right? Mm -hmm. Um, Because, again, I feel like I... the fact that all of that, that, that shit, like, the, below the neck is in the, uh, the character portrait, it kind of fucked with this thing and confused it to an extent. Yeah. The, his, oh, his mustache the, is gone. It just doesn't handle necks. It cannot do fa uh, facial hair well at all. Like it does not recognize facial hair on any of these 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 fucking character portraits at all. No, this th this reminds me of an edit I just recently did. I've been playing a lot of Mechanicus, and I made this. It's Chris Chan as Videx. Chris Chan as Videx. Okay, I don't from uh from Mechanicus. Uh, what is Mechanicus, Fred? Um, it's a squad based tactics game. <laughs> And you made the. If anybody knows I'm, what Fred's talking about, on, this um, is probably fucking hilarious to you. Let, let me let, let me actually just show you. Uh, he a looks like Anne Rand. <laughs> he looks like Maggie Smith. Who's Maggie Smith in the film? Here, I'm I'm trying I'm trying to find a just a drawing of him. Here we go. You know what? This is this is good enough. Let me see. Uh, Hit me. Tab. Hurt me, Fred. Uh, Hurt me he, bad. He looks like this, and I real. It took me a second to figure out who he reminded me of. Videx. Oh, <laughs> the, fuck, <laughs> the mouth is is perfect. Yeah, the mouth. Yes, Frank is here. Zumba Fitness or or Frot, whichever one is uh, funnier to you right now. Wow, look at that. Fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> I just I I saw the frown, and the frown just it. It took me yeah. a while to figure out what I what it reminded me of. It, it it's almost like when AVGN makes that face when something is is really really like displeasing yes. to him. It, there are a few people like who the... can make that really that you, you know you know in school when you're learning about trapezoids and they're all over the place on your sheets. It's yeah. like it's like that. It's the trapezoid mouth. Right. Yeah. It's just uh, it, 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 you have to really go out of your fucking way to get your mouth to do that unless you have like hardcore like resting asshole face right like it, it's it's one of those frowns it's it's the angry reviewer frown because i keep uh -huh. thinking like all the angry reviewers were basically just ripping off the angry video game nerd right right. and right. they all were oh they all tried to do that face maybe that just, that that frown plays well to the algorithm or something uh, in mm -hmm. the thumbnails. Tomato Morta says it looks like a Goya painting the reason you're thinking that is because yes. of the black backgrounds Mm, yeah, I yeah, think that's yeah, the. Yeah. I, I'm gonna understand that's the only reason you're, you're thinking that. But uh, yeah, Harvey was. Uh, the, this was a, just a fucking disaster. Um, how about uh, how about Maru, Fred? Maru, I like her. I like her a lot. Maru, like like Maru. Maru. Again, yeah, I I I, I, I cool. not only do I not remember speaking to this character, I don't think I even remember like seeing this character. Again, like the only time I saw Harvey was when I collapsed in the mine. <laughs> like, like, wh right. like, where are these characters in Stardew Valley? Like, am I playing this the game is... wrong? Uh, no, th this is the daughter of Demetrius and Robin. Who the fuck is Demetrius and Robin? Robin's the person who you oh the upgrades the, who, the farm upgrades build, yeah, 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 build yeah, yeah 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 buildings well, the I, upgrade do, woman. Do, 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 I, I was ignoring every character. That I didn't have to interact with. The only reason I know who Robin is is because I needed to get shit upgraded on my farm. There were fucking other g people moving around her house that I just completely ignored. Like the children. Wait a minute. My Mike? Yeah. Mike Jabron. Oh, you mean the Bungle Stream guy. Bungle Stream. <laughs> oh, you're talking about me? I'm the Bungle you, you, Stream yes, guy? I'm talking, I'm talking right, about yeah. Yeah, yeah, yes. He, yeah. He's <laughs> right. I can't, I can't argue with that. He's right. I mean, dude, I, me playing a video game wrong? Imagine that. Imagine. Well, I, again, the way that I played that game, and if you if you want to, I don't know, I think the videos are pretty funny. I edited, edited them myself, actually. They're on my, the highlight channel, my YouTube highlight channel, where the way that I played Stardew Valley 
was like agro capitalist just fucking kept my nose down uh ignored everybody that i could and just made as much fucking money as possible to the point where i had more by the time i finished that file i had more money than i ever needed everybody in that town was a complete stranger to me uh except <laughs> except for uh what's his name uh fucking edward edward no god damn it the, the guy i married chat and the only reason I, I I spent the time to seduce him was because fucking Elliot, Elliot, was Who's because there? the chat the point? was thirsty for him or some shit. Oh, and I should say this too, I did not uh I did not pix uh, depixelize Elliot, uh primarily because his character portrait was facing like hard left. It was hard left. Meaning that mm -hmm. the, the, just, I didn't even I didn't even bother actually to try Elliot. If one of you wants to try Elliot, go for it. But he was like the worst possible candidate for doing this. Um, but anyway, enough dicking around here. Maru. All right. Ready to get hurt? I'm I'm ready. Oh my god, the neck is huge. The neckline. So you already know where this is going, right? Ah, uh, yeah. There's a lot of flesh down there, right? Yeah. <laughs> Look at his fucking teeth. A guy who owns a place that sells like toilets and like uh like uh sink fixtures and things like that. He's hey, very come on happy down about... to, to Joe's hardware. We got cola. We got co cola. We the sinks. Oh he, we'll get no, to No no no, I, I have a story. I have a story for him. Mm -hmm. He immigrated to America from um from like Eastern Europe. And started up a business where he sells toilets, and he's just that's so, where I'm going with that. So enthusiastic about toilets. That's where I'm he's going just, with that. Yeah, man. he's just so into them. Uh, hey cousin, and you like, want the toilet? It's kind of weird how into them he is. It's, it's like, a little bit like hmm. he he never explicitly gets scatological about it, but he definitely is more into <laughs> toilets than a normal person would be. Yeah. Like he never even mentions shit. Like he doesn't even bring it up. He he's all just talking about the flushing power and the the water consumption of like per flush of this toilet, and he's just very into the technical aspects of toilets to the point where uh, it, it's it's beyond a career and it's become a hobby. Right, but yeah. he doesn't know what a bidet is. He had no idea what it. Well, he's from Europe. You should know what a bidet Easter, is. Eastern Europe. I don't think. Do they not do? They do they not do bidets, bidets in, East. in 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 Eastern Europe? Well, so like saying Europe is like saying America. Sure. Right. right. Like he's Can't from America. Mm -hmm. Where? Are you talking? Oh, like Mac Montana Macrofish. or Florida? Macrofish has a good theory. Maybe, maybe in his country we do not have indoor plumbing. So I come to America and we have the 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 beautiful indoor the plumbing. We used to have. So I shit in the bucket, and now here it's beautiful. You don't even have to look at the, the popo if you don't want to. It's not scatological. It's just right. an enthusiasm for for plumbing because, like, where he's from, like, whatever village he's from. Right, right. This man, this man goes entire days, like, selling toilets, 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 toilets. without saying the word feces or any synonym. <laughs> it's like it's not involved. Like you have it, a toilet like just for the the joy of owning a toilet, not because you use it for anything. No, no, no. It, he's right. absolutely practical about it, but he's just. It it's like, it's like you know the people who are really into building computers but never talk about games mm -hmm. or gaming. Mm -hmm. Like they'll build the computer and they're all into maximizing the specs, but you'll never hear what game they're playing. It's like that. You know why I think he he works outdoors a lot Be because he's sunburned. He's very he's very red. You see how red he is? I mean, he's he's red, but like he looks like he just got back from a festival and someone pelted him in the face with dye or something. Oh, like one of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He also yeah, looks yeah, high. Yeah. Like he's kind of stoned. Like his eyes are, you know, his eyes are squinty and there's like there's a little bit of a, of a haze there. Like, you could see that. Like, it's like a smoke type of a thing. Like, mm -hmm. it's, it's kind of... Like he's glassed over a little bit. Like, he just had, like, a really good spliff. Mm-hmm. What's a, what's a oh, good, strong... Chat... Mm. Oh, someone in chat just pointed out. We got the green splotch up top. It's not even attached to his face. Fucking holy shit. There it is. I didn't even notice it's, that. Wow. It's... 
He's a smoke monster in human skin. What, what's a good, strong Eastern European? It's Jay Leno. <laughs> what's a good Eastern <laughs> European name? Like Jackov. Jackov. You like Jackov? Jackoff, because it sounds like Jackoff. You, you're just trying. You're just Jekov. saying Jackoff. Jackoff. Like was... Jay Lenoski. Jackoff. Jackoff Lenoski. Um, Lenoski. Yeah, I like uh, Lenoski. <laughs> he doesn't look as Gopnik. You come to Jackoff Lenoski. Hey, cousin! You come and play darts, and then you come buy a toilet from your cousin Jackoff. We have the, all the toilets you want. Beautiful. Ones that uh, you flush on the left side, one on the right side. You don't even again. You don't have to look at the poop. I recommend you do. That way you can keep an eye on your bowel movements and know so much more about your health. See, see if there's see, blood he, in the stool, blood in the stool. Here's the thing. I, 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 th I think, like, you're making him out to be weirder than I feel like he would be because he looks... I, maybe it's the smile. It's, it's probably the smile, but I, I would hang out with this guy. He'd be a little weird, but he seems, like, really sweet. <laughs> Right? Maybe, like, maybe. Like he's overcome a lot of obstacles in his life. Mm -hmm. um, he doesn't take anything for granted. Like alcoholism. He doesn't take anything like for granted. Really... Yeah, yeah, exactly. That type of a dude. He's wizened. He's world wizened. He's been, you know, he's been through the valleys. Of Star Do. He's been through the valleys. You know, he's had peaks and valleys in his life. He he knows when things are bad. He knows how to appreciate life when things are good. You know, he, right. yeah, because he's been through a lot of shit. Yeah, he seems like right. a, good, I, a good guy. Um, but we're forgetting that he is Maru. He is Maru, yes. He, he is Maru. We've, we're learning. I, I also like to point out, Maru is black, and they just <laughs> they made this him made red. This is made of red. This is made of red. It's just made of red. It's, yeah. it's, 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 it's. Oh, she'd be mixed mixed people, race. She would be mixed it, like, race. It will make a red person, like like a maroon person, before it will make a black person. Two things two things matter here. The the hair color influences the skin color. That and really does seem to be the case. The clothing color influences the skin color. Right. You can mm -hmm. even see he's a little bit like purple around the neck. Right? Right. So, uh, very, uh, very wild. And again, what happened? The fucking algorithm, it took all the, the chest skin, and it just assumed that that was, uh, part of the face. Because, again, this thing is for faces. Mm. Right? Uh, so if we're throwing, like, the entire upper body in with the picture, that's gonna confuse the shit out of it. I guess it thought that the mouth was the chin, but it, it, I feel like it, it did take the mouth into account. It almost did, right? Like it, like it tried I, to? I, I think it took the lips and it made the lips the top lip. And then it took the chin and made it the bottom lip, sort of. Something like that. Maybe. Um, no, Fabulous Spunky, what's up? Thanks for coming. The algorithm, it does not do glasses well at all. Uh, at all. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh... Maru, congratulations uh, on becoming you know th this this guy. It's it's a glow up story. Um, <laughs> I just I don't I, I, I fucking this this someone in chat said it looks like my uncle. It absolutely look. I could say the same thing. It looks like one of my uncles. You want to see could, the small you, pick? Yeah, someone in chat saying make it small, and I I think that's a good route. I think it's what we, what we should do for all of them. It doesn't. I don't know. I'm not seeing it, does it. it the no. same way that mm -hmm. I saw Abigail. No, nope, you're not. You're not seeing it. This no. looks like a man who orders truck stop steaks. <laughs> yeah, or he gets like souvlaki out of a food truck. I feel like he's Greek. I know you're saying Eastern Greek, Europe, and yeah. you're th you're thinking more like uh, you no, know. You like know the, what, Greek? I, you're right, Greek. You're, you're you're thinking more in the area of like Eastern Bloc, like former Soviet Union type country. I'm thinking he's he feels Greek to me. I agree. I'm seeing. I, I yeah. think. Yep. I'm. I'm completely changing my assertion there. J. Uh, J. Lenosatapopoulos. There you go. I fixed it. Lenos. Lenosapapadopoulos. Start the picture small and slowly make it uh, embiggened. Okay. Yeah, no, I, I like, I see the 
general features that helped a little bit like the mouth is where the mouth is supposed to be but her chest became her chin yeah his her chest became yeah. his chin yeah if you put a mustache on there and a red hat with an m on it could be a little bit like bob, bob bob hoskins in the 80s movie the mario brothers super mario brothers 80s yes. movie you can get I, a little I, I get what you're saying. it's got a little bit of it's a me vibe going on to it right you know what this I, I keep saying that these look like if aliens tried to create <laughs> people and i know what i'm thinking of that there's a philip k dick story called the war with the Fanules, and the Fanules keep trying to invade earth but like come in all sneaky mm -hmm. but they all end up looking the exact same and like all having the same profession it's like they all come down and they're all dressed in exactly the same clothes pretending to be tv repairmen and they give the game away in in beef yeah immediately yeah. just immediately no he no we someone in chat mentioned the head antenna uh communicator uh you know what i keep yeah. thinking of when you say that the the opening scene of the first men in black movie where you, where you got the uh actual water Remember that fucking, right. like, the giant centipede alien that crammed itself inside, like, the man's skin? Remember that? Yeah, 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 yeah. I love that movie, by the way. I think that movie's fantastic. It's a great movie. It's fun. It, it is fun. I wouldn't call it a great movie. It's it's a fun movie. Sugar. 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 Man, right. sugar. sugar. Water. Water. Uh, somebody in chat said that the glasses became the, the, the weed haze around his eyes. Oh, they yeah, they yeah. did. They uh -huh. totally uh -huh. did. All right, next one. Let's keep these rolling. It's... Penny. Remember Penny? Penny. Yeah. She she lives with Pam. And f I don't get how anyone can live with Pam. Hey, man. I don't even get how you know who Pam is. Because I'm, <laughs> fucking, I'm telling you. I just... I really just kept my, my nose down and focused on my, my farm when I played Stardew. Uh, yeah, Penny's pretty cute. Or at least she was before she joined the Diamond Dogs. Oh my god. Modern love. Church on time. The Diamond Dogs. Right. It really does just turn people into <laughs> David <laughs> Bowie. It fucking turns people into... <laughs> they should have called it the D. Bowie of Fire. The D. <laughs> D Bowie of Fire. And the D stands for David. <laughs> so D. Dot Bowie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, dot, the D. Bowieizer. There is another so like... alien antenna. It's on the top. Right. Mm-hmm. He's, it's always the same shape too, right? Mm -hmm. You see that. Mm -hmm. It's always the same little, like, colored gem in the exact same shape. Yeah, it's just, what's different, sometimes it's on, in, uh, in the hair, uh, uh, you're gonna see, I don't, I don't even want to ruin this yet, but it can be, it can end up in a bunch of different places. Um, Good. it looks like Bowie, he might have spent a little bit too, too much time in the tanning bed here. Uh, and also, and also mm. like got yeah, he spent so much time in the tanning bed that he got cancer in his cheek and had to have like his cheek scooped out. Yeah, he's got a scoop. <laughs> he's got. A, they did it with a with a fucking like ice cream scooper. Right. Uh, Just notice the luminosity of the eyes. Now I understand the luminosity of the chest and the chin because of the yellow shirt, but why are the eyes glowing? Like, why is she some kind of cryptid? Right. Right, it's. It kind of reminds me of that one episode of The Simpsons where Mr. Burns looks like an alien. He gets irradiated from the from the uh, yeah yeah the fucking nuclear power plant. Uh, yeah, Peachy Frog. He says it has the coloring style of a Van Gogh and the proportions of a Picasso. You know, it's funny because some of the, like the skin texture kind of like looks like brush strokes if you look on the right cheek. You could see that, but I think that's just the uh, I, again. I think that's part of the. The AI trying to blend the patchwork of the different uh, like chunks it took from different photographs that it was fed, yes. right? Yes. Um, but that's Penny, so I hope you um, I hope you, you you never look at Penny the same way ever again. Also, one of her ears is gone, but why? She only has one ear in the portrait. You did, it, it seems like they might have tried to cobble together an ear, like make an ear out of hair, so she could have a, a fucking like a right ear. Right. Uh, it's, you know, this is, it's Gopnik Bowie. If you guys want to send me uh, things that you put through the AI, uh, send them to me on Discord. 
Uh, and tell me, you know, make sure you tell me what it was before you put it through the through the AI, please. Um, but yeah, just send it to me on Discord. I'll try to look at it at some point tonight. I I don't um, I don't think we're gonna go too too long tonight because don't forget um, Red Vox. We're having that album uh, uh, the album premiere tonight Ooh. on the Red Vox uh, Twitch channel. We're gonna do a a, a listening type of a, a like a listening party with you guys. Uh, so we can like see your your reactions to it and like stroke our egos uh, type of a thing, um, but no, it'll be cool. Uh, thank you, Fred. Uh, we're really excited to show you guys a lot of the music. So uh, don't. I, I didn't know about this. That's don't, awesome. Don't uh, don't skip it, uh, Chad. If you are uh, a fan of the music, you're gonna you're gonna want to be there. Uh, we're gonna have uh, Joe is gonna be there. Billy's gonna be there. So the whole band. Is going to be there, and we're going to try to answer some questions and shit at the end of it, so uh, it'll be cool. Um, anyway, show done. I've got more Stardew. I got a lot more Stardew Valley characters for you guys. Here Let's tonight. go. Let's go. Let's uh, roll through them. Thoughts on Sam? And by the way, we're going to try to do that at 10 p.m. Eastern. Thoughts Sam's on cool. Sam? Cool. I, I, I cool? think that Sam, Sam is like super down to earth. I think that. He looks like he'd try to be extra cool, but he just kind of, he kind of just goes with what he likes. And he's not really, he's very true to himself. I like him a lot. I think he's one of, he's one of the characters that I like. How do you think if somebody Valley. with a hair stu a hairstyle like that can be true to themselves? He fucking spikes I, his hair up with like raw egg. Because he legitimately thinks it looks good. Like he, he doesn't give a shit, right? It's like he saw someone who had it. <laughs> He, he loves that. It looked cool, yeah. and so he started wearing his hair like that. I, I think that that was the progression. It's not I want to look cool. It's I think that looks cool, so I'm going to do it. What's his power level? Enough to have <laughs> one. Dro not enough to like get that droopy bit up. Oh yeah, yeah. The Dragon Balls they supply the testosterone to the penis. Everybody knows how that works. But um. Thanks for it. <laughs> uh, it, it's it's funny you're telling me about this character again. I feel like I saw him like once in my playthrough, um, and he just kind of became uh, a cautionary tale for methamphetamine. Man, um, apparently at some point he started hitting that he started hitting that pipe uh, free basin. Um, he went down he, a dark path. Um, he looks like six nine. What's is that? that his name? The, uh, the the rapper. Oh, you're saying that because of the the teeth, right? Like the the, um, the teeth is part of it, and like the darkness on the face looks like the tattoos. Well, I can't tell if that's a grill or if that's just like plaque buildup. Like, is that <laughs> something? Fallout. It's a grill build. to hide plaque buildup. <laughs> it's, it's both. Uh, he's a Fallout ghoul. He looks like a smoker from an album cover. Yeah, this could be an album cover uh, if you want nobody to buy it. Um, they tried with the hair. Um, it's a SoundCloud. It's a SoundCloud rapper who exclusively covers six x six x nine. How do you, I don't, how do you print? I've only just, ever I, seen it written. I think you just say it sixty nine, honestly, because you know, like the sex number. Like you thought that was cool. Six, yeah, it's like he sixty nine. You know what? I, I have a theory. Um, remember those stories about how the, the, the big expensive like vape batteries were blowing up in people's faces while they were using them? Oh my god. <laughs> I think that's what happened here. I think he was just yes. enjo enjoying a, like, a, like a sweet cotton candy and Captain Crunch flavored vape. And it fucking just exploded <laughs> in his fucking face. And actually, this is your face on vape. One, <laughs> one of his eyes is just... Uh, both of his eyes are fake. Uh, he's just like fucking full burn victim status. <laughs> um, Someone in chat pointed out that he looks kind of like Bowser. Did I did I mention that already? Ah, he looks like ah, Bowser. The hair. From... The hair. Yeah, the hair. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, wait, was Dennis Hopper in the movie, the '80s movie? I think it was. Who who played Bowser? I'm like ninety percent sure it was it was Dennis Hopper. It read his eyebrows as his eyes, dude. That's what happened. That's what fucking His happened. eyes became like bruises or birthmarks. Well, I mean, don't do drugs. He looks like Junkrat. <laughs> he does. <laughs> he does look like Junkrat. Fuck. Junkrat. Absolutely. Oh, fucking. He really does. Holy shit. Yeah. And oh oh we have we have the jewel around the top again. You the see jewel that? the jewel is present. 
the He's jewel like is present. He's like on the present. tip of one of the hair spikes. Uh, here, for those really of you who impressionist. are not familiar with uh, with Overwatch, impressionist is the right word for it. Yeah. Uh, there he is. He's got the uh, the soot uh, mm -hmm. over like the, the top of his face. Uh, he's got the, the the hair. It actually just turned him into junk rat. Like holy, it, <laughs> holy shit, it really did. Fuck. Meth addict junk rat. Yeah. yeah. Uh, junk rat this... after years of of hard drug abuse. Actually, after an another decade of hard drug abuse, past what you see in this image. <laughs> this is Florida man. Right. Florida man. Superhero Florida man. I didn't yeah. know Stardew Valley was in Florida. Who knew? It is now. It is now. All right. I got more here for you guys. Um, actually, funny story with Sam. The AI, before I forget, the AI uh, was giving me a hard time with Sam in the exact same way that it was doing it with Haley. So what I did was I cropped out everything under the neck. I actually did it for this one. Because it wouldn't generate anything at all until I did okay. that. When I did that with Haley, I expected it to work, but it didn't work with Haley for some reason. Right? Um, but this one, uh, this one took a lot more work than the other ones did. Uh, than most of them did. Effort. Like you... me putting Chris Chan in Videx. Yeah, that was a Photoshop that you spent time on, dude. I, I, I took like you... 15 minutes carefully, <laughs> like, like you... sculpting the face yeah. out. Ah, like going shit works. around the implants. Yeah. Uh, love went into that to an extent. Yeah. Uh, maybe not love, but care. I have a feeling that this next character is Husbando for a lot of people. Sebastian. 100%. How do you feel about Sebastian, Fred? He's all right. I think that... He reminds me too much of myself when I was in high school to truly like him. So you were an edgy bitch in high school? Not so much an edgy bitch as much <laughs> as, like, I was trying to figure out who I was and I kept trying to do things that I thought would give me an identity. Mm -hmm. Like, that's why he's dressing like that, right? It's it's an identity. He smokes because it's part of his identity. He He's trying to sculpt one, but he none of it really sits right with him. Is that the impression you get from that character's personality when you play the game? Very much. Very much so. He looks like he's really awkward in conversations. I, the few exchanges I do remember with this character, he was just like, Fuck hell, why are you talking to me? Like, I'm I'm too cool for you to be talking to me. You think you could just walk up to me and talk to me? Fuck yeah. Where I was like, you know what? You actually just achieved your desired effect because I'm never speaking to you again. <laughs> All right. Um, it worked. It worked really well. Um, but then uh, Sebastian went through menopause, and I think it really calmed him down a lot. What? Uh, he this became is just a more, Abigail again. A more friendlier kind of a kind of a person. Uh, Sebastian <laughs> post menopause is much more pleasant to be around than Sebastian pre menopause, in my opinion. No, this is this is Sebastian just Karen. Abigail again. This <laughs> is just Abigail Karen. again. <laughs> Uh, it just, well, like the 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 algorithm is cheating. It copy pasted. Also, we have the gem again in the bottom right. This is like a Where's Waldo sort of thing. Let's Spot take a the gem. let's uh let's pursue your uh your theory there. I'm gonna grab the Abigail thing. I'm gonna bring it up to all the right, top. All right, all uh, right. Now this was Abigail uh, after being depixelated. I don't see what you're saying. Or wait, who was? No, no, no. It was... I think it was someone else, actually. Was it... The face is familiar. You right. Know, I'm in a better we've, position we've to figure... this face. It wasn't Abigail. It was... To figure this out than you are. Hold on a second. Emily, maybe? Right. No. Wait, no. Emily was... No. Emily was, like, the, the friendly Greek man. You know who you're thinking of? You're thinking of Harvey. Harvey. There we go. Yeah, you're thinking of Harvey. Um, I right. see... I see some similarities here. I think the... I think it's the same mouth. It's the exact same mouth. Yeah. I was completely correct. It pulls from a database mm -hmm. of mouths, noses, and eyes. Oh, by the way, look at the bottom right of Harvey's picture. We didn't notice that before. Oh, there's the gem. It's got the oh, gem. Oh, this is like, where's gem dough? In, the, in this image on the right, it's on the bottom right as well. Yeah, yeah. I, I mentioned that. Yeah. 
Boy, I hope this music is still royalty free. Most of the royalty free music doesn't have uh, lyrics in it. Can I go back to the top of the playlist real quick? Thanks. Um, but yeah, so another glow up here, I guess. Um, but like I no go back. I, I want to look at this more carefully. I want to convince you. Like, look at the shape of the mouth. Oh no, I'm you with I'm with you it, on the mouth. It kind yeah. of dips. Okay, yeah, you're seeing that. Uh, see someone it. in chat also said it's the exact same nose, and they're correct. Look at the height of the nostrils compared to one another. The thing that's different is that the nose is uh, in a different place slightly. Like, it's lower, maybe? Um, well, yeah, it's not falling off of her face. Do you notice that the bridge of the of the nose is completely different? Where you're just talking about the nostrils, if anything. Well, no, the nostril. No, I, I'm pointing out that the nostrils are a giveaway to show that, that this the, is the exact same nose, because the bridge is also exactly the same. It's Look just how been blended. It is, straight up and down. Blended yeah, it's in a just, different way. Exactly. Right, right, right. Uh, we have different eyes, uh, but I guess yeah, the nose and the Do mouth we... are the same. Um, it's got that kind yeah, of uh, those smile lines, uh, the crease like that goes from the nose down to the corners of the mouth. Um, right, and like dude, the shape of the the shape of the crow's feet are the same. Me, yeah, but maybe even the um, like the hollowed out area in the bottom left uh, uh, of Harvey. Like it seems <laughs> like it seems like Harvey was supposed to get the entire bottom half of the woman on the right's face. <laughs> I'd love to see I just realized I'd love to see someone mod Sardew Valley with these <laughs> <play something characters>. <laughs> yeah <laughs> well I think if we fucking if we get rid of the again everything under the chin we could get these looking a lot better but at the same time you will notice that Sebastian on the right has a neck there is a neck so the thing is like trying with necks right at least and it's like it's giving them a neck. Another thing that happened here was it thought that the hair and the hoodie were the same thing. Like, yes, I think it just kind of right. It just made it all hair. Right? Yes. The hair cascades into the hoodie. Uh, I think Sebastian is one of my favorites. Like, this is like like a fucking middle aged real estate agent. Like, like our like our husband has a very well paying job, but she does like the real estate thing on the side. You know, like you could see her on those fucking, like those, uh, those signs that they put in front of houses for sale. Yes, absolutely. She looks, that's what it makes me think of. Cause I wanted to say stock photo, but mm -hmm. it's not, it's, it's a portrait for a, pro a working professional. A realtor. Yes. A headshot for a realtor. Mm -hmm. Right. Call Karen. And here's the phone number, uh, to inquire more about this listing. Exactly. Uh, the uh, signs the on shopping person... carts. Yeah. <laughs> She, yeah. She's the kind of person where you're you're constantly afraid that she's about to start getting passive aggressive. Yeah. Does she ever though? Uh, you mean Sebastian or this woman? Well, you're you're afraid of her. Con uh, you're always worried that she's going to become passive aggressive. Is it warrantless though? Does she become passive aggressive? Probably warrantless, right? Like, uh, I I think that she doesn't ever actually. It's just something about her personality that puts you on edge a little bit like you're waiting for it does anyone else in chat feel that like have you gotten that around about. people where like I've they're had, perfectly reasonable and fine people mm -hmm. but you're always just for some reason on the edge of your seat wondering like is this person going to start getting passive aggressive on me yeah chat understands okay it's almost I'm not like the only person who feels this i feel i i know the feeling too it's almost like you have a person who like they might actually be being passive aggressive but their fucking game is so on point that you won't ever be able to figure out if they actually are or not well no it's not even but that they are. there are definitely people i know who are that way but this is a person who's just genuinely nice like there's nothing wrong with them there's just something about their personality that reminds me of someone else maybe that i've experienced who was kind of mean or I, maybe i misinterpreted when i was younger as being sort of passive aggressive and uncomfortable Graham says she looks too in intense. Like maybe she's got a dark secret. Uh, she looks. She looks like. No, like no. Th that's see. Like if I'm. Like my my alarm bells are going off because like I wouldn't do that for a man. I think it's. I I think that's a something that people assign to women a lot. 
who are intense like like that you know she has that sort of intense look but when when they see a man have that they're like yeah he's a good go-getter but when they see a woman like that and they're like uh, she's trouble uh -huh, right? i they, know what you're saying i i think there's a little bit of that going on it's like an a-type um, pers personality uh pseudopod says like well she is a career woman she's a go she's a, a go-getter yeah she's a definitely a career it's like, woman it, it's it, it, it's like the actual uh, but what i'm talking about is like the it, it, it's it's completely unreasonable right mm -hmm. like those those thoughts and expectations are completely unreasonable or they uh, want to clarify <laughs> uh, on unless until until they they are reasonable uh, which will be you know uh at least at some percentage of the time jets fantasy says she leaves a skeleton in a in the closet of every home she sells <laughs> <laughs> just in case she needs something on you crouch, let's do the next one crouching uh, karen one. hidden becky <laughs> <I saw that. laughs> she looks homophobic i think you know what it is um she like she has like a gay niece and she like supports that but she, but she still believes in the sanctity of marriage. I support like, my, I support the person, not the lifestyle. The, it's, it's, it's right? that, <laughs> or, or like she supports the lifestyle. She just feels strongly that marriage can only be between a man and a woman. It's that, right? It's that. There, that's what I. That's there. what I'm seeing. I'm seeing that. Mm -hmm. You wanna? So, do we? Did we get to your favorite character yet, Fred? I think I, I, I think I hit. I think I struck a nerve with some people. Oh. Um, but my my favorite character who is who's your favorite, who my character? favorite character is who is my I think hmm 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 who's the sexiest it's not just the sexiest it's who's whose personality do you like yeah, yeah no that that gets factored in because I don't know I uh, ignored all of them Crobus <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> is it true that you can fuck Krobus in the new update? You can't or, or fuck Krobus, but you can have him move in with you. You can have Krobus live in your house, As but he, roommate. but but like no below the waist business. Like it's all it's all fucking like platonic. Krobus doesn't have a waist to go below. True. He just kind of tapers off. There's definitely like a huge like fucking community like internet like subculture of like Krobus fuckers like they probably fucking hundreds of thousands strong I'm telling you right now, you know why? Because you can't fuck Krobus. That's why you tell them they they can't do something. They're like, oh, yeah, watch me. <laughs> Mod time. Uh, make <laughs> make Krobus rounder and more sexier. <laughs> Let Krobus fuck. <laughs> Do you uh, want to see Shane? Give him to me. Uh, now the person who uh, the tweet that I linked in chat. Um, the, and if you look in that reply thread, they did Shane, uh, and we looked at that Shane during I think it was a, a Sonic Adventure stream, and it was fucking okay. hilarious and horrifying. When I put Shane into the depixelizer, I got a completely different result. Believe it or not. Okay. Uh, now, I know this is a husband, though, for a lot of people. Right, chat was saying it looked like Germa. Mine uh, yeah. does not look like Germa, but I wish it did. What the? This is a Junji Ito character. <laughs> this is from... what? What's the one? Um, The old woman who's... I like, didn't read any. Whose window stretches out across the space between the houses. That's who this is. Hold on. You know what? I'm going to look her up. Um... No, actually, someone in chat's going to have the name. Germa never name recovered from the internet. The window. It's just called the window. I like how it took the hoodie and the made it into door. a kind of a parka, like a down Here, jacket. Th this one. This is this is what she reminds me of. Like, my mind immediately went to this character. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, fuck. You see what I mean? Absolutely. <laughs> Shit, what happened to her? Fuck. Oh my god. Oh, fuck. I, god, I love Junji Ito. But man, this is like... It looks so similar. Now, this looks like... Like, fuck, like somebody I, I've, I've met in my life. <laughs> uh, let's come up with a backstory for this person. What do you think of? Oh, the, the jewel's on the right side this time. Um... 
is kind of I see it's at the in. top right. Uh, it's very hard to see in this image. Old I, Gilbert Gottfried. Not very poggers. Aging and methamphetamines are not very poggers. No, 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 no. She... She looks like... She looks like someone who's homeless but not due to medical circumstances. Mm-hmm. Okay, why? Like, 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 maybe, maybe her husband divorced her and like took everything. So and this is not, like. Mm -hmm. She looks like she's just tired and trying to make like get by. She goes around with like the the shopping cart and collects the bottles and like asks people for cigarettes at the bus stop. No, no, no. She's not even aggressive about it. I, I like, she she reminds me of like one of the homeless people who tries to be invisible, more like more than anything. It's which uh, like this is evoking a lot of sympathy in me right now. <laughs> Someone in chat, a uh, spigot the bear says she goes to Atlantic City to gamble, and smokes ten packs a day. Uh yeah, she does the penny slots exclusively. This is Aww. a penny a penny slots, uh, woman. Uh, See, like this this actually looks like a real person though. It does. Right? Yeah, that's what that's what I'm saying. Uh, it yeah. do it doesn't look like Shane, uh, but it does look like a real person. Mm hmm. A pack of Paul Malls. It's always Paul Malls, Nandacreet. Absolutely, it's Paul Malls. Uh, reds. I don't think they call them reds. The full, the full flavor Paul Malls, not lights or anything. Uh, yeah. I, it, and again, she, it, it turned the hoodie into like a parka, like a down jacket type of a thing. Mm -hmm. Looks like a yeah, Silent totally. Hill character. I, I think long... that might be. That might be part of what feeds into the homeless vibe, besides the face grime. Like that weird parka. I, you were saying, this this doesn't handle facial hair very well. Nope. And it, it interpreted Shane's facial hair as, like, smudge. Because he's supposed to have, I guess, like a 5 o'clock shadow type of a thing going on there? Yeah, yeah. And it just made it into, yeah, smudge. Uh-huh. It's... I want it looks like Benedict Cumberbatch. No, it doesn't. I, I, can, only, I can only imagine what this would do to, like, an Indian person. Uh, it would just make them dirty. Oh, because of the, right, the, the skin color. Yeah. The skin tone, right. It, it was like, no, this person isn't Indian. They're just a dirty white person. Right. Um. Well, that is 100% what this algorithm would do. Well, I don't think there are any uh, Indians in uh, Stardew Valley. Um, but, I mean, what you could do is you just take any kind of pixelated, any, you could take photographs that are low resolution and put them into the, uh, the fucking depixelizer and see what it does. I mean, like, go nuts with this fucking thing. If anybody is, is into this and thinks this is cool and has the time, I'd really, I'd really like to see the cool, the cool shit that you could, that you could pull out, you know, hit me with it. Um, but yeah, yeah this go, is, give uh, it. Yeah, Atlantic City penny slot uh, chain smoking lady, for sure. Uh, but I'm very glad I was able to destroy uh, Shane for everybody here tonight. I know Shane is a, is a fan favorite. Uh, I hope that that is a thing of the past now. I feel like I feel like I did good. Um, but believe it or not, that is all of the uh, dateable characters from Stardew Valley. Okay. Um. Excluding again Haley and Elliot, because those don't... they were literally yeah they just didn't work they just didn't work. Um, but I do have every other character in the game. All right, uh, let's start with Caroline. Like, who the fuck is Caroline? Let's start with that because I don't. Again, uh, remember she's this one of character. the moms. Uh, <laughs> she's uh, she's Pierre's wife. Um. Pierre, like Pierre being the shopkeeper who oh! got cucked by the wizard. Yeah, yeah. Um, hold on a minute. I missed Leah? No, who the fuck is Leah? Leah is the person who lives in the cottage just south of Marnie's farm. I think what might have happened is it was it another one where her portrait looks like hard left or something? Looks pretty far to the left, yeah. That, that's why I didn't. That's why I didn't do it then. Yeah, oh, I, okay. I missed another gotcha. one. Sorry, chat. So I missed. Th there were three I wasn't able to do. Um, so Leah is. Uh, uh, is oh, Car like Caroline is very important because she teaches you how to make tea plants, and I definitely made a tea farm. 
Caroline, uh, not Leah. My bad. Her name is Caroline. You can make the, tea in that game. Yeah, they um they made it so that if you become friends with Caroline, she teaches you how to make tea plants, and you can plant the tea plants, and they give you tons of tea leaves that you can put into, uh, into barrels to make green tea. I had no idea that existed in that game. This is a new update thing, uh, Phoenix. It's new, yeah. Oh, okay. So um, I have a tea farm because of because I'm horrendously predictable, and I've just sort of come to accept it. That's okay. I love you for it. I always know what to expect out of you, bud. Aww. Never any surprises with Frat Knudsen. Um, is he worth any more than coffee? I'm not sure. I couldn't tell you. Yeah, that's a good question. Is there like a gameplay reason to do it? Um, so the benefit you get from green tea is an energy max increase, which isn't super useful later on in the game, mm. obviously, because like it's hard to run out of energy yeah. later on. Yeah, after but... you get enough like uh, the fruits. But it can help if you're going into like the the mines early on. Okay. Um. Cool Olympa! What the fuck? Yeah, this one's brutal. What? I'll let you just sit with that for a second. Notice what? the notice the crimson jewel of Katorak in her fucking forehead. Right. So she's like the Hulk and Juggernaut had a baby. This now <laughs> this is our Oni. Let's look at the face and listen to this laugh. <laughs> it, it's accurate. <laughs> I'm gonna pee in your tea plants. <laughs> like this, she comes by is... at night and pisses all over your tea crop, even though she's the one who taught you how to make them 30 years ago. Right. Like, no, this is fired. like a <laughs> this, this is life. a, Without you a Tim and Eric character. <laughs> it's like Tim and Eric with like a bunch of shitty makeup on doing something stupid. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> Tingle's ant. Yeah, I got a little tingle vibe from it. That's why I said Kulu Limpa. It kind of did like a... God bless it, it tried with the hair. It really it, did. It, it put in a valiant effort. It's a mischievous kind of a like forest spirit type of an energy going on. <laughs> but he does oh, like is... fucked up things. Like he kidnaps your kids and like fuck, I don't know, sells them somewhere. Like it, like it's not, it's not fun, like fun spirited stuff. You know, it's not it's not like fun like fun antics. It's like, oh my god, like you 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 belong in prison antics. Right. It's like, like it, it, <laughs> it's mischievous, but mischievous in the way that like you'll lose a limb. You'll lose yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like tee hee, you lost your forearm. Like the prank is is like they'll go they'll go to Costco and they'll set up one of those like sample carts and they'll be like here try some hummus <laughs> and you take a hummus sample and then you wake up from a coma like fucking six months later and they had to remove one of your kidneys because she poisoned right. you like that type right. like th those kinds of antics she, she put diethylene glycol in it yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. <gasps> she's just pure God, evil he... like she'll burn your house down. Uh, it's it's like a combination of the Owl Oni image that I sent you uh -huh. and a character from one of the Thumb movies. Again, I don't know what Thumb, what the thumb is. Oh, you know, like Thumb Tannic and Thumb Wars? Oh, that shit. Yeah, yeah. That shit, yeah. Uh, it sounds weirdly specific. I know, right? I don't know why that came out of my brain. The um, God I, thumb. I was, I was, I was like surprised by that myself. Uh, but you know what streaming is? Is it's really just you vomiting words out of your mouth and just hoping to God they make some kind of fuck semblance of sense by the end of the sentence. Really, like that's just all it is. So I mean, hey, that one worked out. Is it? I have no idea why that came out of my brain. But uh, if I didn't do that, we'd just be sitting here with dead air all night. So uh, stop complaining. Anyway, <laughs> um, I want to point out again that it did the thing where it took the neck and was like, "That's a chin now." Yeah, it's th this person doesn't have a neck. It's like you know what it is. Mm. This oh, what's this looks like a Hayao Miyazaki character again? No, no, don't know what that is. L like, um, this looks like the Witch of the Waste. You throw so many like from references at me that I don't. Um, that I don't get um, um, Howl's Moving Castle. Oh, I have seen Howl's Moving Castle, but I don't remember this. Yeah. The Witch of the Waste is like the really big woman, like the the witch that is in love with Howl. I think I remember. I I will say this: it's the it's definitely the vibe Ghibli, of that not, movie. Not Miyazaki. Oh my god, Ghibli, Ghibli. Ghibli Sorry, yeah. Ghibli. This is definitely I'm, I'm the the vibe of of that of those movies in general. 
like that kind of a like mischievous kind of a yeah like yeah, it, it, it kind of like oh. No, like it, 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 okay, so I wasn't, I wasn't getting the names confused, right? Hayao Miyazaki is the Studio Ghibli director. He's involved director. with Giblets, yeah. The Giblets. Yeah, he's, he's like the name attached to the studio. I'm not I, a madman. I okay, really, I'm remembering it correctly. I, I really love this one. I, I'm I'm just such a such a fucking fan of, of, of this it's, one. I like the shawl. It's spicy. Like that they they look at the 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 effort that this algorithm put into making like a blue like maybe it's a turtleneck sweater or something for for, for the for the person, God, that, the face is just huge. It's There's massive. Too it's much absolutely face. massive. And I, I it, personally like to believe that that body is like normal size. Big body. Massive head, no neck, it's tiny big. body. It, it, no, it's big face. Counter, big face. Uh, counterpoint to small face. You hit me with another reference that I'm not gonna get. Yeah, it's uh, the Tomodachi live streams. Oh, which big I didn't see. Body. 80s the Manzana wants to know why he gave them a screaming jewel in their forehead. They, it just gives it to them. Like, don't worry about it. We don't, we don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> I you fucking, Baba from Spirited Away. I think this is going to be like my new fucking like Discord avatar. I think I'm just going to make Look, this. Yes, you're right. It, it is you, Baba. It, it, it's like male shithead Yubaba. All right, how about um, Clit? How do you feel about Clit? Clit. Clit. He's he's like mildly pathetic. Cause he simps on one of the female characters like uncomfortably hard, right? Right. Yes. Yeah. Emily. That's that's why most people don't like him that much. But you know, we should be easy on him. <laughs> we, Fred. Fred. A, every every time I see Clint in Stardew Valley, it's. It's always the Lord Farquaad meme. Simp. <laughs> He's got that going on. But listen, man. I think we should go easy on old Clint. Because the truth of the matter is... He's on... He's uh, under pressure! Do, 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 do. Nah, not oh really. Oh my god. I, uh, a, a little. A, a little Bowie. I'm, I'm, I'm pushing it. I, I see a little. A little bit. The long... Do you know what is the long head? It's... Macklemore. He looks like Macklemore. <laughs> He's extra crispy. Yeah, he's extra crispy. Yeah, like, what happened? Like, I see I see a little Bowie in there. I see a little bit of Narcissa Wright. I see... What else? Um, British comedian. Like, I feel like there's a British comedian that looks like this. I can't believe they inverted the direction that the person yep. is looking. Yep, and it resulted in him having a bean-shaped head. Not even Eddie Izzard. He's like, a maybe a little bit of Eddie Izzard, but that's not necessarily... Maybe a little bit of Stephen Fry. I feel like I'm making an alchemical mixture. That's what like the I'm algorithm did. people in here. Yeah. That's what the algorithm did. You're absolutely allowed to do that if the algorithm could do it. But I think he looks like a human being. Like, not being. Bean. A human yeah, being. Bean. Yeah. Uh, but not Mr. Bean. It, it, look Chad like Mr. is saying bean. he's Bigfoot. Well, his head is shaped like a foot. Is that what you mean? Pro Jared he, Bigfoot. <laughs> Pro Jared Bigfoot. He he's like a foot fetishist, wet dream if he kisses yeah. you. <laughs> oh, because he's also got a lot of hair. Yeah, the, the chain mail is hair now. They made it or the, into the jacket. It's a, it's not chain mail, it's a jacket. I always thought it was chain mail for some reason. No, it's a jacket. Now is that like rock and roll uh ponytail or, or is or is that like body hair? What is that? No, it's it's a rock and roll ponytail that splits uh, down both sides. He's also got 100%. lipstick on, so he's going for like that glam rock thing. Uh, he's also suffered third degree burns on his fucking face. Right. Did, I, it's again. <laughs> it's like a. It's more like a birthmark. I want you to imagine for a second what the shape of this person's skull would be like. <laughs> oh my god. So what would their skull look like, man? <laughs> I don't... It's like you know, yeah. you know how baby skulls have to like elongate so they can mm -hmm. be born. Yeah, like they sort of get squished. Mm -hmm. It's like this person's. It's like that, but with this person's whole face, and it just stayed that way. Fred, you know what it is? Hmm. Somebody did like ch the Chinese foot binding on his fucking head. Oh my god! No, that that <laughs> actually is head? a thing in some countries. Like though. into like, a that's foot. A similar thing, but they're about where they'll elongate the head. Mm -hmm. It's actually kind of creepy. Right. And not healthy. It was like that one uh, African tribe where they do the uh, elongation of the neck over time. 
that, that one putting... got really popular, but they also do that to skulls for uh-huh. children. Uh, I wish they didn't. Seems mean and, and seems seems painful and problematic. Mm-hmm. Please but discuss. I mean, we, we could go. We could go on and on about cultures that have done this to kids. Uh, please but... discuss how his two front teeth have fused into a single tooth. <laughs> yeah, that did happen, huh? Fever. Yeah, he's a fucking uh, just just a a, a, a real chimera, <laughs> isn't he? David like... Beaver. <laughs> yeah. Ah oh, man, uh, he is just fucking horrifying, dude. I, I'm ready for the next one. Again, I, I have again a... facial hair. Like, yeah, facial gonna... hair does not exist to this algorithm. No, like, no. like, this person exclusively took people with, like, hair on their head and their eyebrows, and anything else doesn't exist. Like, hairless monkeys. Because the only way that the algorithm wouldn't, like, understand the existence of facial hair is if he didn't take pictures of anybody with facial hair and give it pictures yeah, of anybody with facial hair. Yeah, he just, like, I imagine he brings them into the studio and then, like, takes a razor and shaves them. This thing is so confused by facial hair. I mean, look what it did. The facial hair made this thing so confused that it, 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 he doesn't have a lot of, like, chest exposed. Why is the fucking head this long? Why is the chin as far down as it is? Yeah, it's Because just the like, facial hair made it, made facial it hair? shit itself. It's like, that's facial hair? Nah. That's a birthmark. It's like, oh, you're black? Nah. You're a gulpnik. This is just another uh, another advocate for, uh, yeah, like, don't do drugs. Like, have this guy come into the D.A.R.E. program. Or the, what is it? Uh, dr- what is that? D.A.R.E. Drugs are really Dare. Um, evil. What does it stand for? D- I don't know. Well, and they have this guy come in and talk to the kids and set him fucking straight. Uh, we have... A lot of those on the menu here tonight. Yeah, let's keep going. How many more do we have? Oh, uh, about a billion. All right, let's go. We got Demetrius. We might have to start rolling through these. I was afraid of this. Uh, one. Well, Fred, my plan was to go till about ten o'clock, just so you know. But if you have to take off early, okay. you're totally welcome to, to do no. that. No, 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 that works um, for me. Because at ten again, I'm gonna. I was hoping I could like raid the uh, or, or or host the Red Vox channel, so we could just like roll that over into that type of a thing, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, but anyway, this is Sangi. Demetrius. That that's who this guy reminds me of. Sangi. He's one of the zoo sadists from like that that got outed. You know, I have sorry, I just no had an epiphany. You're talking about no idea what you're talking about. Um, like that there there were a bunch of furries that were outed as like being zoo sadists. Right, like so, animal like, cruelty stuff. I so, think I yeah, that. like yeah. zo like like fucking dogs. Like some some of the stuff is just like really really horrific and one of them looks is the spitting image of the one on the right you get rid of the birthmark and that's basically him yeah give me a picture of this this uh uh yeah sure f- uh fucking human i i swear to god um sangi his name is sangi me... okay yes i here we go i <laughs> i'm sorry this person's face He's just, he's such a fucker. Uh, here we go. Human is a stretch for these people. I was trying to be yes. nice. I was trying to be nice. No, you know. no, these people are lower. Like, they're, they're <laughs> lower. Than... A little bit, I see it, a little bit. This man. Uh, I see it there to an extent. You see? Uh, yeah, it's something... You see what I mean? Well, the, the you this know. This is the... the face of a person who fucks dogs. Uh, and this... is, um. Was this one of the pedophiles as well? Anyway, All right, Fred, I'm gonna just I'm gonna stop you there, man. I don't I don't I I'm not a fan of. Uh, yeah, no, this. it's no these. Uh, what I'm saying is, it's okay to make fun of these people. It's okay to mercilessly mock these people. Um, I wanted to take a look at Demetrius, man, uh, to try to just keep it. That's not Demetrius. Just, just kind of try to keep it. It's, it looks like his chin is melting into his neck. It really does. It's bad. <laughs> it's um, amazing. So, yeah, well, you know, this is what happens when you hang out with somebody who goes down rabbit holes for a living. You go down rabbit holes. Uh, Demetrius, right? He's like the science guy. I talk to him probably more than any other uh, of the NPCs, honestly, besides, uh, what was his name? Uh, motherfucker uh, Elliot. Uh, I remember he came by <laughs> and he gave me the, the bat cave and, and all that shit. Um, but 
I, I, I would say I liked this character. Um, but the algorithm didn't. Wow. I, it's like, oh yeah, black person? Nah, just low lighting. Whitewashed. You can see the jewel Jesus in the, Christ. in the, in There's the top the left. It's always that shape. Why does that shape keep appearing? I don't know. It, again, the person in chat said that the, what was the other algorithm? Uh, this is not a real person that does something similar to this, right? Uh, it also includes those jewels. Like, these jewels, it's just something that these algorithms do. They just pop a jewel in there for some fucking reason. Right. Like, <laughs> pop, pop a jewel in my mouth. Like, Start this person making. isn't isn't even tan. Like, I'm not even... I mean, they're, they're like, maybe sunburned? Not even... Like, rosacea? Rosa yeah, like, severe rosacea. Right. Um, oh, what? Why... Why are the lips so pink? There's no pink. There's no there's reason. There's no pink there's on no Demetrius. There's no reason for those lips to be it's, to be that pink. It's literally just taking a, like some lips that it has stowed away. Like it 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 went into the lips drawer and said, "Yeah, put that on him." They just slapped them slapped them on there for no reason. Look at how the nose doesn't look like his nose at all. Like, the chin, again, became a mouth. Like, the chin didn't get as elongated this time. Oh, that be it still turned the visible neck into a chin. You know what it did now, though? Hmm. It has the eyes and the eyebrows in the right place. But why are the eyes the wrong color? God, you're right. It's like brown eyes? Nah. Those why, don't exist. why was that hard to do when I gave you a fucking a pixel portrait with huge brown pupils? Or retinas, whatever. It's obviously brown. Why are they like blue? I don't. It's it, like this thing went out this. of its it, way it was to, trained... to, to whitewash him. No, I, I'm completely like I. I think that we we hit on it really early on. Like this person lives in Russia. Who are the people that he's putting it up against? Russian people. I, I think that a lot of these people have looked quite Russian. And I think it's because that they're like he just put in a lot of Russian people and didn't think twice about it. Uh, at least it didn't make him into white Obama. What? <laughs> Whoa, Obama. You ready for what? Actually, actually, this is my this is my favorite one of the entire right, crop. Right, are you ready? Right. I'm ready. Are you ready for my favorite my favorite one of the entire crop of all of these that I did? Yes. Oh no! Wait, you got something out of this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did. You couldn't get Haley to work. Yeah, I but you got the dwarf working. Yeah. What? Are you ready, dude? Okay, yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> All right. Dwarf face reveal. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I swear to God. What? I swear to God, yeah. How does dwarf turn know. into I don't know. thick chin gopnik with no pupils? I don't know. I don't know, man. What? I don't know. Where'd the hair come from? I don't know, dude. <laughs> How? Uh, he fucking took the hood off, and there's a Chad in there, apparently. <laughs> the All right, Leonardo everyone. DiCaprio. Date the dwarf. Oh, he's a fucking Chad. Like, who knew? Why was he hiding his Chad Lee visage underneath that robe the entire time? God, like this the, is the what's going on pupils, under there, guys. The, the lack of pupils is really uncanny. It, it's it's almost I know that it's an amalgamation, but it seems to what my first thought was that the algorithm I gave the algorithm the, the dwarf face, and it was like I don't know what the fuck this is. Just take this full picture of an actual human and get out of my face. Like just leave me alone. <laughs> just just fucking take this it's, 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 actual just photo of a, of a man headshot of a man, and leave me the fuck alone. Like, yeah, I don't know dude, you... it was just, it just said, Mike, I'm sick of your shit. Exactly. It was like, here you go. You happy now, asshole? Just take take your Russian <laughs> and leave. <laughs> Fucking look, look at him. Oh, no, he's hot. <laughs> it's, why is it this? Why is it this fucking Giga Chad? Why is there a Giga Chad under the fucking, the, the dwarf's robe? Oh, I, no, God. it is a Gopnik because, again, these are Russians. 
Mm -hmm. He looks kind of like Thor. What Chris Hemsworth? Ah, uh, the, the, yeah, yeah. I think it's the the shape, the shape of the face. Oh, chat just pointed out blue crystal on the right. Holy fuck! There it is. Why is that there? I don't know. What Why the is fuck? it's always like just sort of a bean that curves off to the right? Yeah, <laughs> I can't believe it. He also got a lot taller when he took the hood off. That's um, didn't see that coming. Yeah, where? Why are the? What? Oh, just. I do give me enjoy. The next one. I do I like. I enjoy how they darkened the image to account for the fact that it's 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 black inside <laughs> the hood. It's so much black. So they just, just took the whole image and darkened it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, he's still in the shadow a little bit. Like, what do you think? He's gonna just walk out into like broad daylight on his first face reveal chat? <laughs> Oh, Guys, I'm a little God nervous. <clears throat> Why? No, no, no. I, I'm quoting the. Oh, dwarf him. As he yeah, walks right, out. right. Yeah. So that that's my favorite. I mean, I got some more good ones here. Don't get me wrong, but I fuck it. That I, I, it, it does not get better than this one. Um, how about Evelyn? The kindly uh, old lady. I appreciate. She's very patient with her husband. Well, uh, it looks like to me she kind of ran out of patience. George. What the fucking Mike Mercer looking ass? I don't know who that is. I or Matthew Mercer. Sorry, Matthew Mercer, not Mike Mercer. Tommy. Uh, it's like Matthew Mercer and Tommy right? Wiseau. Yeah. Tommy Wiseau. Uh huh. Oh, uh, when maybe. You know what it is? It's hard for me to visualize Wiseau without the hair. And the glasses, the sunglasses. He looks like Trent Reznor. Why is it young Mark Hamill? You know what else is interesting to me? If you look at the chat and you see, like, the celebrities that they all see and how, like, wildly different they are. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't think, you know, Tommy Wiseau or, or Trent Reznor look alike, you know? Like, I don't think any of these people. Kevin Sorbo. That I see. That I see Kevin Sorbo. Yeah. Kevin Sorbo was, uh, it was Conan the, the Barbarian, right? Okay. In that, like, 90s show? I see that. Yeah, absolutely. I see Kevin Sorbo. Go. Kevin Sorbo. I can see that. Yeah. The eyes are just closer together. A and young the nose Arnold. is flatter and rounder. A long... A, a, a young okay. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, you sent me top tier ones. I'm going to look in a bit, uh, Bungleceratops. Um, but, yeah. Uh, I, let's... I <laughs> pl please explain to me how they took uh, Grandma Juicy and turned her into Kevin Sorbo. <laughs> Why, why did you call her Grandma Juicy? You know why. Yes, I know why. God damn it. How Again, did this happen? We, ha we have the pupil disappearing on his right eye there. Like he's gone blind. Or his left eye. It's, I mean, it's disappearing. Her eyes are completely closed. Yeah. It, it, what, I'll tell you what happened here. It, it took this entire uh, pixel portrait and just decided that that was a face... Like, it didn't even... Her actual face was not factored into the creation of this at all. But the this the jacket gem. was factored oh. into the neck. The God, we got a here. neck. You know, I regret that we've been asking for necks, because look at that neck. It's like... He does, a lot of, he does a lot of, like, trap exercises. You know what I mean? The trapezoids. It's like... Um, you know why? It's, it's like indeterminate flesh. That's what his neck is made out of. It's not muscle. It's not fat. It's just flesh. Like he's just got a a, a gom gob galob jalob body going on below the neck. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. He's he's like returning back to Tooth Planet. Like blah, blah, blah. look at the triangle shape that she has going on with like uh, where her sweater is, like her her body below the neck. You see the triangle shape? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, it, that's, it's imitated by that's the neck. His that, neck. That is the neck. That's his neck. Yes fucking hell it looks like chicken skin <laughs> yeah wait uh, chat's saying that they see the crystal kevin crystal nealon i see i see that yeah it's at the very top fred oh there it is wow chat monsters monsters that they're, they're awesome they're beasts monsters at spotting jewels oh yeah 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 it's the like you said we're not playing the game i kind of been forgetting about the jewels because i'm just like in all of the face. I do see Kevin Nealon though, John Michael, yeah. Um Yeah, this one's uh this one's interesting. I again I would like to see what you would probably have to do is you would have to crop Grandma Juicy Evelyn, sorry, from the neck down, and then you would have to embiggen the uh 
the head to try to get something decent out, out of this. If you want it to be serious. But the way that I did it, without that crop, it just mm -hmm. thought that her sweater was like a, a fucking man's mu <laughs> extremely thick, muscly neck. No, I, I, I maintain that that is not muscle. It's just flesh. flesh. Just formless flesh. I don't... <laughs> it, it, it's like... Dermis. You think it's he's got dermal tissue. He's got some like John Carpenter's thing shit going on down there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I got her husband here, George. The old, right, the George. old, the old, oh, the old oh, fellow, no. the old fellow, right? Oh no. Now, this one was very interesting to me for a number of reasons. Uh, you will notice that somehow the algorithm maintained like the uh, grumpy face. What? But uh, it it uh, it turned them into like a young woman. I'm seeing into like cyber. What? Like uh, it's awesome. Well, you're noticing it's the kind of great. You're noticing the position of the jewel is back in that sci-fi com position, right? Yeah, it, so, it's there again. Like again, th this is a Star Trek alien. Chat keeps talking about uh, the Detroit game, uh, Become Human. Is that a thing that you see? Is that that looks a lot like something that's that's going on in that game? Um, Fred, I want to point out that all of these fucking uh, these depixelizations have taken the majority of them have taken young characters and made them old. When I gave it an old man character, it made them young. Right. It did that to both, kind of. The reverse. It's yeah. it's consistent. The the green flesh is due to his green uh clothes that actually have a little bit of vomit on them, don't they? Yeah. Um But yeah, uh she looks angry. She looks grumpy. Um it was like She looks th th this looks like a promotional photograph. For something for like oh no th this is a a big sporting event and she she absolutely e looks like she's going to kick your ass e in like in figure skating or i, I don't know e why she looks like she looks like she would do a sport that's more popular in europe like figure skating or um fucking i don't know like why am I thinking winter sports? Because she's Why Russian. Why does she look like a winter sport? It's, because it's she's Russian. Russian. You're right. It's because she's just mm -hmm. fucking Russian mm -hmm. again. Mm -hmm. It's just another fucking Russian. <laughs> yeah. Let's not be Russian to any conclusions. Derp. The 2050 Curling. Cyber Olympic Cyber Olympics promo photo. Yeah, she looks but like she's awesome at curling. But like, or 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 uh, roller derby. Like she'll dislocate your shoulder and knock your teeth out in roller derby. Mm -hmm. Looks like she would have uh, like, a Russian not, accent. Not even, no, 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 not roller derby because like she looks like the kind of person that's above doing that kind of like gendered thing. Uh, maybe like, because she, roller she's derby, there, like she, she's a swimmer, maybe. Like maybe, maybe she's a swimmer, or maybe she. Let me think. Again, winter sports skier. Maybe she's a skier. I was gonna say it's it probably maybe it's because roller derby is too much fun. And she needs something that's, like, less fun and, like, more competitive because she has to prove, like, her superiority. Um, I could also see her being a chess master. Yeah, you see that? Yeah. My I, I wife! See her, like... Yeah, my wife. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, um, she looks like she's ready to deliver the 4 p.m. dick flattening, man. The, the four... Would you get your... Jesus would, would, you, would you let her flatten your dick? No. I'll let you answer again with the right answer. <laughs> I'll give you a second please, chance to... Please, queen, <laughs> in flatten my schlonger. Uh, but, yeah, that's uh, the crotchety, curmudgeon old grandpa from uh, Stardew Valley. Uh, I guess he maybe, maybe he had a little bit of that grunty magic going on where he stole somebody's youth. Maybe... <laughs> Um, that's my best grunty impression, and I'm sorry. It's, it's really good, actually. Um, how about the how about the governor? You know the dude who comes and tr tries the stew on oh, the beach. No. Not the governor. Oh, take no. take a look at that face. Right. Okay, he's kind of 
Actually, oh, oh no. Remember how I was saying that, like, this this program wasn't going to do well with... Facial hair? Ah, uh, no, I was going to say, like, he could be a couple of different ethnicities. He could be just, like, an oh. old, like, European man. Mm -hmm. Or he could be uh, Indian. I could see that, too. Well, whatever he was intended to be by Stardew Valley uh, Concerned Ape, what do you think the algorithm Italian, is? Italian, right? Sorry. Uh, the, the, you're just thinking that because of the, the Mario mustache. What? No, um, I'm... <laughs> he's, he's very... Someone he, in chat said Italian. He's very Mario-y, uh, I, I think. Um, I, I, this is going to be... A, this is a fun game. Ready? What do you think the algorithm is going to do to this? I think it is going to turn him into... An old woman. Uh, do you want to be more specific with that? Like, what, um, what do you think? Old woman with a... I, I'm going to say it's going to keep the... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a, wait a minute. No. Oh, the face is going to be really long, isn't it? And, Ready? Uh, just show me. Uh, it just kind of, uh, I don't know, it, it shit itself and just turned him into Martin Freeman. What? Or, or... What? <laughs> <laughs> this one was a cop out. This one was a what? cop, a cop out. <laughs> this was the algorithm being lazy. This one, I think. I'm fucking... Look at the colors, though. Oh my god! Look at the colors. <laughs> you can was... see the original in the background. You see it? You can! Oh my god, you can! It the... just fucking gave up. The thing had no fucking idea what to do and gave up. Yeah, it just fucking <laughs> threw its hands in the air. It was like, you win. There's a jewel on the top. Again, if you look... This is not your favorite. Uh, I because the dude, I don't know the fucking dwarf made me laugh so hard. You know, and one of the things, I, I, one another big reason that I wanted to have you on here was because I saw all of these already, and I wanted, I wanted, I wanted like somebody's raw reaction to it. Y you know. <laughs> yeah. Um. I, I I get it. I get. It. I hope my reactions have been okay. They're perfect. I I, I mean I look. Look at the, the just the, I, the I purple swear I'm hat. not playing this up. I'm just like, I was not expecting no, this. No, I was not expecting no, it to just was. give up I so readily. <laughs> I wasn't. It's kind of like they just, I, I didn't even, when I first saw it, I didn't think that that was the original in the background. What I thought had happened was it just like, it made, it gave me like this guy's fucking, like this is like his uh, LinkedIn profile picture. It took some random person's LinkedIn profile picture and then just fucking pasted the colors onto it and then took the excess meat and just slapped it onto his face because they didn't know what to do with it. They were like, here, right, have yeah, some this, tumors. Th this looks like outsider art that you'd find on Deviant Art, where they find a stock photograph and then just put colors on it. Yeah. And they're like, this is my my new superhero blueberry man. <laughs> well, he's got the, like a mask going on, kind exactly. of. Exactly. He's like the hamburglar, but he steals blueberries. Look at the... um. Yeah, so Calvin says, can we talk about the potato under his ear on the right? I, 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 I did want to talk about this. Can you take take a look at... So that's the, the, the mayor's... Uh, his left cheek, right? That's his cheek. Mm -hmm. Why does it have, like, an ear hole? It, it tried to make an ear. But this it, kid's got a gauge. It, but it... But, 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 but Fred, he already had an ear. Right. So this fucking thing tried to give him a second ear under his actual ear? Meaning he's got two I ears guess. on one side of his fucking head? I guess. Like, is it trying to say that the like the rest of the face is background, maybe? Which is why it's out of focus? I... I, I don't know. That's what I'm I, thinking. I, I, I think that it's not a part of his face. I think that it was trying to make part of the governor's face background that's why it's out of focus oh uh, i think that's why we have some out of focus stuff is because the algorithm mm -hmm. tries to have the foreground uh be the face mm -hmm. and then the background will like be out of focus 
It's important to note that none of these character portraits have backgrounds. These are PNGs. Correct, right? but it's making one. It's made in this instance. It made one. Um, right. He doesn't have an ear, or it seems like he doesn't have an ear on the right side of his head. So that means both of his ears are on the left fucking side of his head. Mm -hmm. If you want to look at it that way. Also, somebody in chat uh, wanted to bring our attention to the hair. You will notice that it tried to take the hat and mold it, like mold the hair into the hat shape. But it right. just created the fucking impression that he's got like a really low quality weave or something. Like a fucking like, right. hair, like hair club for men, but they just botched it so fucking badly. Right. That like it's fucking falling off the, <laughs> the side of his head. He's like an ear flounder, exactly, Doctor Zock. Like I, I got fuck, like a flounder or like a like a an olive flounder, yeah, from Animal Crossing. But the fucking both of the ears are on one side of his head, so he's just completely deaf on one side, and he's got really good hearing on the other side. Yeah, look at that fucking look at that weave, dude. Look at <laughs> it's good. <laughs> it's... <laughs> All right. All right. Well... Give me give me the next one. This one's probably my favorite so far. Good. Glad you glad you like it. Glad you like it. It's a it's a quality one. How about um Jazz? Do you even remember this character? Yes. Ja um one of the students that Penny teaches. Uh I was to me it was just one of the annoying kids that was running around and in my way while I was trying to make it back to my fucking house before it got dark that I, I fucking never spoke to and didn't even know they had dialogue. Okay. I definitely, like, of all the characters in the game, this is, like, I didn't interact with the kids at all, because it's just, like, I, I make wine on my farm, and it's, like, come on, I can't give wine to kids. Like, well, part but... of the idea is, like, okay, I'm going to give wine to all the people in town, and I'm going to be nice, and it's just, like, I don't know what to do with you. Bad so, news. bye. Fred, I got some bad news for you, dude. It looks like Jazz got into oh, your man. wine anyway. What the fuck? Looks like Jazz oh, got into God. your got into your wine despite your best efforts. Oh my God! Started drinking at a very very young age, uh, and boy did it catch up with her and did it catch up with her quick. God, it like it gave her a huge head, but like a tiny body. <laughs> it's fucking Farquad. <laughs> it is Farquad. It's Farquad. Farquad. It is. Oh my God, you're right. <laughs> now nah, that's Farquad, and there's the gem just barely on the top. Yeah, we've got the gem. Wow. <laughs> no, it's literally just Lord Farquaad. It's just Farquaad. Simp. Simp. Um, again, Fred, the algorithm did the thing where it took a young person and aged them for no reason. It keeps doing this. Is... Oh, what about the other kid? What's his... No, what's the other kid's name? Uh, you're talking about... Oh, um... Okay, the, al the, the I don't remember the other kid's name, but I know the algorithm wouldn't let me do it. I don't have the other kid. Oh, uh, what? The algorithm, okay. it, it just, it just like, sometimes it'll just say no. The, the actual error message, if I remember correctly, it was uh, something to do with the uh, uh, eclipse uh, ratio or something. I would have to look at it again to honestly tell you exactly what the problem was. I'm just going to open it for a second. Okay. Um, Gosh, it keeps... It, it's the neck the, the neck thing is going on again where her neck became a chin. Yeah, that's going on. Though she still has a neck, so what's up with that? Yeah, like the uh, it's it added neck. It's like, no, we don't like your neck. We're making your neck into chin and we're giving you new neck. Shut up and give me more wine. Look at the bags under her eyes. Yeah, she looks like she should be living in the trailer with Pam. When the algor algorithm really didn't like one of the uh, the images I put in there, it told me that the Epsilon uh, fucking, it couldn't make a, no face was found in the current Epsilon ratio or some shit like that. And one of the things I did try to do with the ones that failed was I lowered the Epsilon to try to see if that would give me something and it still didn't work. Could not find a face that downscales correctly within Epsilon Ploptipus. That was, in fact, the error. Thank you. Um, but, yeah, Jazz. Uh, boy, they grow up fast, don't they, Fred? I... Man, they grow up God. so quick. It's... So many of these characters have... Drug face. Yeah. 
A lot of drug abuse happening here. Uh, maybe they're all uh, like doing crocodile over there. <laughs> right. They're all shooting up crocodile, and that's just that—that that was his you know, sample group for photographs. Mm hmm. What the fuck happened? Oh my god. At least the hair part is kind of right. Like, <laughs> dude, let's give the thing credit for like actually recognizing like that what was ha supposed to be hair was hair. Mm hmm. It, it like the, I'm I'm impressed. It it turned it into bobbed hair, but it's good enough. Notice Take it. Jazz's tiny nose, and notice the algorithm's uh, massive nose. Right, I, I think it's because it has that big area where there's nothing, right? And it right, just right. Uh, interpreted that as being a nose. You can see where, like, the shadow of her hair comes over her forehead, mm -hmm. and that's where the nose stops. So it just assumed that light portion mm -hmm. up to the shadow was the bridge of the nose. Because usually people have noses there, so it was like, oh, just, like, slap a nose in in into there just to be sure. Uh, I see what you're saying though, about the bridge. Yeah, now that I look at the one on the left, I see what you're saying. I see mm -hmm. what you mean about the bridge. Um, Stardew Valley, the later years. This could be Stardew Valley too. Like you go back to the valley and everybody's grown up. You know, mm -hmm. uh, you know everybody got older. Um, some people transitioned. Um, you know, some people uh, got into drugs. Uh, yeah, the gem is yep. there, but it's cut off. Right. We we, get, we only get a little bit of gem. It's an itty bitty bit. Stardew Valley 2015. I think I'm no Stardew Valley 2034. Yeah, I mean this is Jazz has been Jazz has seen some shit at this point, right? Um, hold on. Uh, where were a woman who hasn't seen enough? That's the problem. She went from not seeing enough to seeing quite a bit. Um. Okay, so the next one I got is Jody. I don't know. Um, you're you fairly, uh, fairly basic um, type of a, a individual. Uh, war wife. She she's a war wife. A war wife. Uh, right, because yeah. she's married to Kent. Yeah. Who I also have here. Um, oh no. Yeah. Uh, All right, let's go. Give me. Fred, you know. What Bring I'm me in, the pain. You know what I'm in, in the mood for? I'm in the mood for dancing, man. So let's dance, dance in the well, night away. It's just away. Bowie again. Let's swing like we used to do. It's literally just David Bowie. Yeah, man, that's just David Bowie, dude. I, why is, why is <laughs> everyone yeah. David Bowie? I don't know. Why? The gem. There's a legit gem in the hair. Yeah. Like you can even see that like there's metal around it. Mm -hmm. It's... Yeah. It's the bean. It's still the same bean shape. God, it, it's just like... <laughs> yeah. Like Denise Bowie. <laughs> no, you don't, you don't call me David anymore. You call me Denise. It turned the ponytail like, oh, are, into like, a neck that, And then it's just like, oh, are, are, are you trans? Are you exploring your identity? No, I just want to be Denise. That like is this, a, a, it would be a Bowie thing to do. No, Very, exactly. No, I it's just like not, did a lot nothing of nothing to do, nothing to do with being trans. He just wa like he just, just wants to be Denise now. I just did a lot of cocaine. Um, look at the neck tumor that used to be the ponytail. Look at that growth. God, it? yeah, it. I, again, it's like flesh of indeterminate make. It's a goiter. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a goiter. Oh my god. Ziggy played goiter, and the spiders from Mars. <laughs> Gosh, it's how, like we need we need to have a Bowie counter or something. I think. <laughs> how many Bowies are we at now? Like, are we terminal Bowie yet, or what? I. We're 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 approaching. I I guess like seven is where we'd hit terminal Bowie, right? I think, yeah, that's, I think, how many Bowies are we at? Three or four Bowies? I can't. How high are we on the bo bowometer? Um, I, I don't, we're, we're, we're officially at Denise. I've got Kent here. Um, All right, Kent. 
This is the dude young, who... Young girl. Young girl. Calling you, it now. You're thinking young girl. Yeah. Like, we've gotten so many weird, like, age and gender swaps. I'm going for young girl. See, here's the thing about Kent. Kent went to war, right? Right. And uh, when he was in that war, he became a prisoner of war. And he hid that watch in my ass. What the for seven years, I hid that watch in my ass. It's... it's... <laughs> you don't think that oh, looks like it, Christopher Walken a little bit? It, it, it's it's Walker. It, it's Walken Bowie. Walken and also Bowie? You think it's the same... Wa That's not the same person. Doug Walker Walken Bowie. Man, Denise like... really did do a lot of cocaine. Look at those eyes. Looks like... Hold on. He, he reminds me of something. Um, Joe Dirt. <laughs> it's Joe <laughs> Dirt. And it's got the mullet. <laughs> oh, oh my God. God. Yeah, there's the Why gem on the right. Why does he keep giving people yeah. mullets? I don't know. It, 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 well, this is the second mullet we've seen, to be fair. Um, I The face reminds me of someone. It's almost Vinny. Uh, uh, but it's not. It, oh, I've seen the character somewhere. Maybe it is just Joe Dirt. Uh, he's got a lot of dirt on his face. I mean, what? It, it's like they took, again, they took the shading yeah, no, I, I, from the I hair. I was just thinking of Joe Dirt. Yeah, it's Joe Dirt. Um, he's got the mullet. Uh, he's got... <laughs> it's... I, I, again, notice how this character portrait face is left and the algorithms thing face is right. Mm-hmm. Right? It, it did the swap again. It, it keeps doing the sort of face bend right where it like it gives people bean faces the bean face yeah yeah the the chin the the neck again became chin um and the chin became the lower lip again if i had just like crop well fuck cropped the fucking bottom out and then ran it through the thing like this <laughs> right but i'm kind of glad you didn't this feels purer we would have got something completely different i kind of wish i did though I kind of wish I did, um, because again, the only one that I did that with was uh, was Sam, and uh, yeah, at least like that one, like you know, it kind of looked like Sam. Like I mean, you know, a little w within reason, man. Um, hold on. Are we gonna need a part two? People are saying part two. Part two. Yeah, uh, well, where, again, where I'm. You... I was gonna go to the end of the hour right here. I think we could we could kill this before ten o'clock, chat. Um, I think we can. Uh, Let's keep going. Yeah, I mean, there's not there's not too many left. Okay. Um, I got an interesting one, a fun one. Yeah, th this I was looking forward to this one. You were looking forward My to old bean uh, boyfriend, old Krobus? the bean boyfriend. The yes, bean, the bean boy. Yeah, right. your bean friend. Yeah. Now, what the fuck could the algorithm possibly do with this? Is this going to be a governor situation again? Mm, I think hope so. think a different one that we looked at that didn't make sense. Oh no! Is this going to be Abigail? Mm, less sense than that. Really? Yeah. Just give it to me. I have no idea. It's the dwarf situation what? again. It's, it is just the dwarf situation. What the fuck? Th this looks like someone who was who was like in Epstein's black book, <laughs> right? Like like this would be like this person's name was found in Epstein's black book. Is it Brett Kavanaugh? Is it Kavanaugh? Hold on. Ted Cruz. It's. It really does look like Brett. It's just Brett Kavanaugh. Was Kavanaugh in the Black Book? Uh, probably. Shadow probably, Kav yeah. Shadow Kavanaugh. Probably. I don't think. I don't think I, so. I don't to, know. To be, to, but to be fair, um, demonic Bill Clinton, Shadow Kavanaugh. <laughs> <laughs> Let me look at Brett Kavanaugh because I fucking don't remember what the fucking penis looks like. Brett. Uh... God, he really Kavanaugh. does look like Kavanaugh. Yeah, I, oh, I nailed this one. I was right, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it is, it is. This picture, remember this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
A little bit. A little bit. Oh my god. I'm angry! I'm angry! And I'm gonna make sure you know I'm angry! Yeah, like, it's the face of a person who, like, is angry, but is more concerned with you knowing that he's angry than him actually being angry. Boy, am I angry! Um, what is all the fucking shit all over his face? Is, is this another situation where, like, maybe they, they thought because... Because it's such a dark image, they thought it was like a minority, and then they fucking just... They did put a black filter over it, like they did with the dwarf. Right, it, it, there are no black people, there are only white people in low lighting. <laughs> in, in, in low lighting in Russia. In it's, Russia, you know light lows you. Th this kind of lighting reminds me of the old man from, um... Uh, from the SCP Foundation, the man who can like walk through walls and takes you into like a maze dimension. I didn't read that one. Oh, uh, hold on. Oh fuck! Is there no gem chat? Here we go. I got it. it it's like Brett Kavanaugh and there it is. old man. Uh, here we go. Brett Krobanaugh. <laughs> uh, actually, is this a new image? Where's the old? Whatever. This is the one I found. Uh, uh, it's the SCP dude? Yeah. Uh, hold on. Uh, Brett oh. Kavanaugh and this guy. Yeah, because he's got his fucking face melted by all kinds of radiation and shit, right? right? Well, I don't know if that's the SCP, but the guy, Kavanaugh looks like he's, you know, he's, yeah, like a fucking Fallout dude running around with, you know, radiation a damage ghoul? on his face. A ghoul. A ghoul. Which I guess works for Krobus, right? I guess. So what do you think, Krobus chat? A... You still want to fuck Krobus? <laughs> you still want to fuck Krobus? Yeah? You sure? Too much beer. Kavanaugh had too much beer. And yeah, there is a gem, Fred. I thought we didn't have a gem in this one, but there is a gem. There's always a gem. There, yeah, there it is. Off to the right. Bootleg it, board it found a place. Yes, but even more. Now you want to fuck Krobus more now? Dude, he's the fucking roof for you. Get, stay dude, away from Krobus. No, but dude, if 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 I have sex with him, then he said he'd give me his jewel. All right. Well, if you're after the jewel, uh, then you're just a a, a gold digger, and I'm you know what? You're, you're gonna. You're, I'm not. A, I'm not a gold digger. I'm a jewel hunter. You're you're gonna get what you what you deserve. Okay. The jewel, you like you fucking deserve. <laughs> J U U L, like the vape. Okay. Yes. And then it'll explode in my face, and I'll become one of them. So maybe that's what, right? Maybe that's what's going on, like under the the Krobus. Like maybe that's just the disguise he's wearing. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, Mike. I I, I came on with the promise of jewels. Don't forget about my jewels. Oh, your jewels, huh? Is that on offer here? How did this happen? Like again, it just gave up. It just complete. It just threw its hands in the air, and it was like, I don't know, man. Like just tuck, fucking take this. And, and, and fuck, get off my bandwidth, asshole. <laughs> Fred Newsom is no, ruined the bat, yeah. We f you, you found out my deep, dark secret. No, Fruge this Newsom. was another case of the algorithm saying, just take your Russian and leave. Here you go, yeah. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, yeah that guy, that guy, uh, he's, got a, he's got a Russian uh, look to him. Mm. You should f save fan submissions for a part. Do people really want me to look at theirs? Um, I, I think that a part two might actually be in order, where you, like, crop out their faces and, and then run them through again to see if we get something more normal. Well, it looks like somebody, uh, Ploptipus, uh, absolutely did a shitload of these. They, all, <laughs> they also did, they also did some of the channel emotes. Oh, this is really good, oh, dude. No. Holy fuck, this okay. is good. Well, let, let, let's get through Stardew Valley. Do you want to look at them now and then? No, I think uh, we, we'll, we, I we, think... Have, we only have 45 minutes. I think we'll probably do a part two, chat. Would you be down to come back for a part two, Fred? Uh, absolutely. You enjoy, you enjoying this? Absolutely. Seeing what this wacky machine uh, pulled out of its ass? Yes. I, I'll come back and I'll be even more problematic. Mayor Lewis. All right. There's a guy who's never problematic at all. Everybody loves Mayor Lewis. He just right? takes your taxes. Everybody loves Mayor Lewis. What do you fucking hate about Mayor Lewis? So it's very confusing to me that somebody did something like this to him. 
again, it's like the face isn't right. It, it's not even. Oh, there's the jewel just lodged in. This <laughs> this, lodged this in guy his this guy looks he looks like um he looks like he smells like patchouli and weed. He's got the jewel in his hair because he says it gives off good energy, and. Ugh, and the hair is all, like, it's all frayed because he's constantly smoking pot. It's like a J.O. crystal hippie. Mm-hmm. Stoned acid hippie, yeah. Or, uh, he, 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 he kind of looks like, um, uh, fucking, the, the dude, uh, he, he was on King of the Hill and he's a very famous rock star and he died recently. Uh, James Taylor? No. No, no, no. James, who the fuck is James Taylor? No, no. Who is Tom James Petty. Taylor? Why did, Tom Petty. Get, why did that name come? To... Tom Petty. I'm seeing Tom Petty here, chat. Not I'm James seeing, Taylor. I'm seeing why, Tom why did Petty. I say Gi yeah. Why did I say James Taylor? What? Well, anyway. I'm seeing Tom Petty. You know what else I'm seeing? Hmm. Facial hair, dude. This is the first time that the fucking You're algorithm right. attempted to put facial hair into one of these things. Like, it, it attempted to, but it more just, like, put head hair on his face. Yeah, he also has the mullet with the receding hairline. Very nice. He uh, looks like Zach Wienersmith. Zach Wienersmith. Let me get you a picture of him. Compare this to Kent's. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah, there's some similarities here. I think the mullet hair. Yeah. Um, but Very that similar. is, like, I think that might be about it. Maybe the lips. The lips are are similar. Yeah. Uh, here, this this is Zach Wiener Smith. I'm seeing a uh, little. He makes he makes SMBC. I'm seeing a little Tom Green here. Maybe it's just because he is so green. It's like his fucking hair has algae on it because he like fell asleep in the pool or something. Like a sloth, you know how sloths have fucking algae on their <laughs> on their fur. Yeah, 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 He's got yeah. Got that going on. <laughs> Who is this dude? Uh, he makes Saturday morning breakfast cereal, like one of the best comics on the internet because he like uploads every day and it's con it's been consistently funny okay i see that he's got a little bit of that type of a um you know he, oh he also he on. also heads up Shaggy the festival cool. yeah yeah he heads up the festival of bad ad hoc hypotheses okay do you know about it do not do so about um uh an ad hoc hypothesis is where you start with a conclusion and then you look for things to justify it. One of the most famous examples might be like, there is a god, and so now we're going to look for info that proves it, um, even if it isn't conclusive, right? You're coming at it from the wrong angle, and so you're not actually getting proper info. Like, that's an ad hoc hypothesis. Uh, Zach started it off with um, the theory that babies were uh, punted from place to place in or like from village to village in early humanity uh in order to maximize uh genetic diversity and he cited that they're fatty so they're padded uh which helps them on their uh landing uh they also have a little bit of hair on their head which or like they're bald which makes them more aerodynamic um, <laughs> they, 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 this is the example and now there's a festival all around this idea uh, where people come up with the worst ad hoc hypotheses that they possibly can, and the worst one wins an award. That sounds fun. Uh, they, they, they uh, originally it was going to be uh, Charles Darwin shrugging and saying "I guess," but then it became um, the alchemist who was, um, he was distilling his own urine. Why? To try to like make gold. Oh. <laughs> Like, Al alchemy. Alchemy had a lot of ad hoc hypotheses attached to it. Right, right. Uh, no, that sounds fun, though. Um... Oh, also, his last name is Wiener Smith because his last name used to be Wiener, but then he married someone named Smith, and they saw the opportunity and they took it. Right, so that's why someone in chat said, does he forge wieners? Yeah, no, it, it was very purposeful. Yeah, he he married someone good, with the last name Smith, and they combined sense their of, last names. A good sense of humor. That's pretty funny. But I love the idea of you yeah, coming up with the hypothesis and then looking at reality to try to make the stupid thing feasible. It's good. Um, I got more of these, if you're interested. Yes, let's keep going. Um, Now, this next one, mo as most of you know, is one of my most despised characters in the entirety of Stardew Valley. It's fucking Marnie. Why do I really? hate Marnie? Why do I hate Marnie? 
Because this... This person... Keeps absolutely nonsensical... Idiotic work hours. I remember my ch my chickens oh. my chickens were starving, and I told you that my farm was the most important thing to me in Stardew Valley. My chickens were starving. They were pissed off at me. They weren't laying eggs. So I was like, fuck, they need food. I have to go get hay. I go down to Marnie's. Dude, it's like fucking noon on a Wednesday. And I walk into her shop, and she's not at the front. And I'm like, hello? And then I see her walk out of a back room. Look at me, like, make eye contact with me. Completely ignore me. Take, like, a hot pocket out of the freezer and put it in the microwave. And then sit there and stare at it for a minute. A full minute in the microwave. And I'm like, hello? <laughs> hello? I'm, my chickens are dying. While she sat there and just <laughs> stared at the hot pocket in the microwave for a full minute. Takes it out <laughs> and then, like, brings it back into the bedroom while ignoring me so she could eat it in bed like a fucking animal. <laughs> And then my chickens didn't get to eat for like another two days because of this. <laughs> I hate her oh so, so much, dude. Oh so my I was god. very happy to see this done to her. Oh my god. Mugshot. Marnie, yes. Marnie, finally facing consequences for her fucking crimes. <laughs> it's about time. This is was... what Marnie looks like on the <laughs> inside. There wasn't enough neck showing to make a proper <laughs> yeah. chin. Yeah. And so it made her whole body the chin. Yeah. I was hoping that maybe we'd have a reasonably proportioned face. Nope. But no. No. It, it just... It needs enough meat for the chin. It needs extra meat for... The, All what, the like, meat. What... Like, what friends does this person have that all have the genetics for these massive chins that like this algorithm has to go digging into the image to find more chin meat <laughs> yeah i don't know it's all he's very red it was like you took the tomato from from veggie tails and put it through the depixelizer his neck is the width of his head check out how his jaw is dislocated like look at the fucking like the left side of his jaw versus the right side of his jaw Right. Like somebody no, punched I, I him see it. punched him in the jaw really fucking hard and broke it and then it never healed right. It was probably right. me after, you know, fuck Marnie did that to me at the fucking when I try, was trying to buy hay. Uh also check yeah. out the facial hair. Why why did you give Marnie facial hair? Yeah, this guy has facial hair. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know why it, uh, he's just decided to give my, again, so many opportunities for it to, like, have fun with facial hair, and it gave fucking Marnie facial hair. God, and, like, and, and then, then, like, she's got a full head of hair, but, like, he has a receding <laughs> he's hairline. Balding. He's balding, yeah. <sighs> you may not like, like it, but this is what peak male performance looks like. Like, m maybe the <laughs> algorithm was like, all right. All right, you fucking hate Marty, right? You hate Marty, right? How about I just make her look awful and then you fucking leave? How about you just fuck? <laughs> yeah. How about I just give you what you want and you fucking leave? It's kind of like a, a kind of a it didn't even try type of a situation. Someone in chat said this is what a Chad looks like uh, in old age. Like he, this is definitely somebody who peaked in high school. Um, right. Like he's just angry thinking about that. You know that that hail mary pass that that the other person didn't catch that fucking lost them the regional tournament. The regional championship, whatever the fuck. Right. And now, like, now he blames it all. Like, he blames his current life, all of his problems on his wife now. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Like, his wife. Like, he's at the pub, and you'll occasionally talk with him. And sometime he, sometimes he's okay for a little bit of conversation, but it always comes back to how his wife is ruining his life. Or, somehow. Or husband. Somehow. Be because don't forget that that's Marnie. Yeah. He has gone from Chad to Chud. <laughs> <laughs> He's a MGTOW. Oh my god. He's definitely a MGTOW. <laughs> mm hmm. It spends a lot of time outdoors, you know, a in married Florida. MGTOW. I see him being a, a Florida man. A married MGTOW. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, m MGTOW, if you will. M m m m MGTOW. Bigger and m smolder m MGTOW. Oh no. It's Bill from King of the Hill. <laughs> yeah, it is. 
Bill makes me so depressed. Yeah, he, that's like, what they're going I watch for, though. Him, I watch him, and I just, like, this aggressive depression takes over me. If I had done this, I, I just, again, I keep thinking what would have happened if I had cropped them. Because, because, dude, look at, like, look at all of her shit she's got going on at the bottom. Like, look at that weird right. dress that she's got. Like, what would we have gotten if I had done this right? Okay, I got a very fun one here. You ready? Okay, okay, I'm ready. Morris. The, oh, dude, okay. who, the dude who owns Joe Jamart, like the, the yeah, evil yeah. capitalist motherfucker, right? Yeah. You ready? I'm ready. <laughs> what the fuck? He's like... Teenage emo girl Vladimir Putin. <laughs> yeah! Wow, this stream is banned in Russia. Yeah. Oh well. Get a load. Get a load of that. Uh, I feel like some of the uh, I don't know the bad attitude has been preserved, or again, maybe that's just be just because she's Russian. Uh, the hair is kind of perfect. On point. Yeah, I got the hair perfectly. There's your gem over there in the in the, on the left of the image. Yep. Uh, the ears are normal. It was just it, it's it's almost like like it made him a woman and then threw the glasses out and decided that the bow tie was was chest and neck no 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 but, no. but did this it is, good this otherwise this is one of those no 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 this is one of those single single moms that never quite grew out of their teenage emo phase uh-huh you know you know the this woman right i do yeah it's her kind of looks like the quirky police officer from reno 911 yeah i know who you're talking about she's great oh wow yeah, people are saying Ozzy Osbourne. Yeah, I'm there too. I can see that. I can see that. Yeah. But I just, I, I love what this thing does sometimes. Look, it preserved like the dimples that he has, like the, the corners of his mouth. Yeah. Why is Morris fine? This, this, well, okay, fine in quotes. This is the best one. This is it the, is. this is like the, the the best job out of all, and the rest of these are dog shit. This is the best job. That the algorithm did out of any of these in, in terms of actually attempting to make this look like a fucking human being. In my opinion. Sharon! 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 Yeah. Uh, I, but again, like, what happened to his glasses? Why did it just ignore his glasses? Fused into his face. Does it actually ever add glasses onto people? Uh, you know, it gave it gave her 2020... It, it gave her 2020 vision. It improved it her, it fixed, improved her it life. It fixed her eyesight. The thing will. The, the thing does not recognize glasses at all. No, no. It ignores glasses. It all of the ones we've looked at where they were supposed to be glasses, it ignored glasses. Okay. Tomato Mortar points it... out that this is the most front-facing sprite with the least color. Ah, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. that makes mm -hmm. sense. Mm -hmm. Okay, I get it. Look, it. Do you know what it is? What is it? It didn't add the. It didn't add, uh, it didn't turn the body into neck meat. What'd it do? Look, look, the face is in the proper area. Yeah. No, it just, like, it took like, the it bow. It just turned into a neck. It took the bow and said, this is a neck now. This is a neck now. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. The bow tie, the big. And you can actually see how, like, the throat comes in and then you have the tendons on the sides of the neck. How that's sort of emulating the shape of the bow. Like it, it, it's it like looks that's good. probably it. Like it's a shape that vaguely looks like a neck with the throat in the center there. Yeah, that that's what it is. That's it, why it gave a proper face shape. The best it instead could do of, instead of fucking tiny face McBill. Like look at his huge head and tiny face. Yeah, <laughs> little bits. It's like the little bits thing from little Rick and Morty. Bits. Yeah, yeah. Look, if you shrink it, it starts to look a lot like Morris. See that? Right. Yeah, it looks like Morris. All right. Um, I got a really fun one here. You ready? Okay, I'm ready. Mr. Key? Mis Mr. Chi, yeah. Okay. I've, I've never seen this character. I had no idea he existed. Who is he? Um, he, You know how you have sort of the challenges where it's like, put a rainbow shell in the bin at uh, the train stop. If uh -huh, you do uh -huh. those, you eventually get to meet him. Uh, okay. What... uh. Is there another way to meet him? Like, for example, if you if you watch a, a, a videotape, like an old VHS 
of uh, somebody coming out of a well. What the fuck? And then you die seven days later. Do you, can you meet him that way too? Wait, wait a minute. Wait. What? Yeah, man. Yeah. Yep. What? Oh. Uh, why did what? somebody in chat before I before I posted the the algorithm image? Somebody in chat said, Avatar, here we come. How did you know it was going to look like the fucking kid who played Aang in the M. Night Shyamalan <laughs> Avatar movie? How did you uh -huh. know that? How did you was, know? I think that, I think they meant David Cameron's Avatar. Oh, because the blue. Okay, well, yes. yeah, that, okay, yep, that too, that too. That's... Wrong Avatar. They both work! No, they both work. They, they both do. work. It's amazing. You guys, we fused... James Cameron's <laughs> avatar and M. Night Shyamalama Ding Dong's av avatar. It's... Uh, it made him into a kid. Uh, there's mm -hmm. a jewel on the top right. Uh, <laughs> Thank it, goodness. Look what there's- did, Look what the, There's did, no brain- the, There's no head. Look like, what it did with the hat, dude. It, it cut off the head. Like, if you look at where the shape of the head should go, there's brain missing. You- Because of the hat, Fred. Because of the hat. And again, like it did yeah. with uh, uh, the other the other one, the uh, the the governor, it just kind of took the hat and just molded it into hair. Though probably we could safely assume that that's what Mister Key's hair looks like under that hat, mm -hmm. right? And it also turned him into like one of those like like creepy cat children from the Japanese horror movies, or from Cats, or from Cats, the I, musical, I suppose. The uh, musical movie Zickel. What are you talking about, Fred? That wasn't creepy. You're right. That was. Did it? Didn't it win an award, like an Oscar? I hope not. What do you think his got, skull is it, shaped it did, like? It did win the 420 award, so there's that. Like, is that his skull under there, or is that just like, again, hat hair? Do we have weird like, what head is that? shaping again. Fetal alcohol? Is it that type of thing going on? Oh no, man, this oh, kid's. No. Kid's got a hard life, man. Good luck, young key. Uh, all right. No, see, no, mm -hmm. see. I, I, I can see that someone in chat said this is the um. What was it? The. God, I'm trying to find it. This is a brainlet meme image. Brainlet. Right. So, like, image. the one on the right is the brainlet, and then like the big brain idea is the one on the left. Oh, the one with the right. I know. I know what you're talking about now. Yeah. It's. <laughs> um. Notice how it took the sunglasses and it made it into, like, again, eye bags? D eye bags, yeah. Uh, this one's kind of fucking cool, isn't it? This one? Like, Mr. Sally Kids is saying it's artistic. Like, I feel that? I can feel that, yeah. If, yeah. It, if this was, like, an altered image. Like, yeah, I could see that. Alright. I got some more here. Okay. How about Pam? Oh, now she chain sorry. smokes, but that's the actual Stardew Valley character. Oh, she's gonna have a huge neck. You calling huge neck? Or a chin? No, no, no I'm calling huge chin. Huge, huge fucking chin. Fred, like, my she's guy. She's gonna be another like block face. You are fucking beyond right because she has the biggest chin. <laughs> Holy shit! You get you're starting to figure this thing out now. Yeah, I'm starting to see the patterns. I am machine learning. Absolute fucking ogre. You feed, you feed enough machine learning results into me, I start to learn like a machine learning algorithm. God, it's like very weirdly like discriminant with the suntan lotion. Like he got the his nose, got the lower half of his nose and some of his right cheek and the rest like... He just he just kind of put in uneven quantities. He just haphazardly splashed it on. And he has a beard. He has a beard. He does have We're a beard. We're finally getting facial hair. I want to know why in almost every fucking instance this thing gender swapped. It's it like I understand that we have a small sample size, but the number of times that it's turned men into women and vice versa is kind of like it's notable. It's almost every fucking time. I want to point out to you that the fucking portrait, it has like that heavy eyeshadow, right? Or that heavy mascara, yeah. whatever the fuck that is. The shit that goes over your eyes. Okay. They fucking 
gave it to the guy, yeah. Instead of just being like, oh, I guess that's a woman. They just fucking slapped... <laughs> they just slapped it on a dude. And they were like, all right, yeah, fuck like, it. Right. Get out of here. It, uh, it's like discriminate in some ways, but not in others. Or discriminatory in some ways, but not in others. All right. Uh, it's like, yes, men can wear eyeshadow. This guy's name is... <laughs> but black people don't exist. Right, so it's kind of it's kind of just... <laughs> two, one step forward, 50 steps back. Right, yeah, exactly. It's like, <laughs> it's like trying to be progressive, but it doesn't understand what that means. Right. He does have Machine a... Machine learning progressivism. He's got a butt crack forehead uh, because of her hair, I assume. Check out... Oh, God, yeah, he's got like a oh, crease Fred, in his skull. Fred, I just figured out the uneven application of the sunblock. It's because the fucking center of his face is her face, and everything around hair. it is the hair. <laughs> it's the hair. Oh my god. That's why he takes shits out of his forehead. Oh, it's incredible. I love it. I, I, I have, a, I have a, a canon for him. I feel like his name is Frank, and he enters, uh, like, he does fishing tournaments. Like, he, go, he, li <clears throat> he lives in Florida, and he fishes for gar. Don't. No, no, no. Tarpon. Tarpon. He goes tarpon okay. fishing. He goes tarpon fishing. In Florida. Yeah. No, yeah. I, I I can see that. But, like, he has a vacation home in Florida. Timeshare. A timeshare. Yes. Yeah, timeshare. Which he vastly overpaid for. And he was, a, he was a cop in New York City in the 80s. I love it. <laughs> oh, my God. He does. He does all like a, all, all yeah. of that. All of that is canon. Yes. You know, b b b you know, after he, you know, uh, transitioned from being Pam. Because, again, it, it is Pam. We cannot forget that it's Pam. This is Pam. No, like, are, are we saying that, like, the, the image on the right is after whatever happened to them in Stardew Valley? Absolutely, yeah. It's the future. Okay, this okay. is, again, my, my thing is this is Stardew Valley, like, 30 years in the future, at least. Okay, okay. So, so maybe he sold the house that that you make for pam in the uh, new update yeah 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 i don't I remember making a house for pam but that's uh that's new that that's a newer thing uh punished frank like frank like the punisher frank uh what's his fucking name frank frank punisher man frank castle he's got a very strong jaw head got smacked by a propeller which explains the butt crack scar <laughs> god Right. Well, no, it would have to, like, make a dent in the skull, but that's, like, that looks more like something that would have to happen, like, as a birth defect. Well, you know, in Florida, they just run over manatees in their boats. Like, like, it's, like it's not really a defect if it's not causing any problems. Oh, it's causing problems. <laughs> Don't <laughs> worry, it's causing problems. <laughs> like, he fell overboard, and another boat just ran him over because they thought he was a manatee. Birth defect. Because he's term birth defect sounds really bad. He's Can got I a very sea sea really mammal sea mammal build. Birth defect. What else is what else are you gonna call d it? Like know. it's be because like who defines what a defect is, right? I, I, like if it's if, if it's it, just it, cosmetic, then who cares? Like it, it seems a little discriminatory to me. I feel like if Maybe that's a, just me. If there's a crack in your in 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 your skull, or if there's like a fucking you know like a skull de deformity, I mean I it's I mean it's just a matter of vocabulary in it. Yeah. Why I, is I guess. Fred of all people saying this? Good question. Um, what? Why? Why, why, is that, why is that surprising I'm for me? I'm joking. Uh, I don't know. Listen, I got more of these. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Pierre. Oh, the glasses are totally gonna. He's just gonna have blue eye shadow. You sure? No, but I think that there is going to be a lot of blue cheek going I on. Run, let me sell you some seeds. Oh, I'll use up seeds. A little bit wow. of a little bit of bowification. A little bit. A little bit <laughs> of bowification. bowification. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Bim bowification. Fuck. <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> God. Oh, we got the jewel. Uh, j jewel's in the top left. Holy fuck. Uh, yeah, he's got... I don't know why he has a big red splotch in the middle of his fucking forehead. I don't know. G check uh, out... It, it's... 
Yeah. All of, all of these sort of like misplaced faces. I feel like we're going all the way back to uh who was it in the beginning? Um who had like the face that was off center? Yeah, but they, they the thing changed the direction that the character is facing, which means everything is all fucked up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, I want to point out to you what it did with his glasses. It took them and it made it, you see how he's got those gray wings? Like you know how someone some people they they start to go gray? Their, the, 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 the sides of the hair on the sides of their heads will turn gray first. Right, yes. That's what it thought his fucking glasses were. That's what it made his glasses become. Right? Yeah, yeah. You're the, right. You're the right. The splotch on his forehead is supposed to be his left or right eyebrow shading. I, I, I guess so, but he's just got, like, again, patchy rosacea. A varnished yeah, but... forehead, yeah. You, you can see it at it turned the eye into an eyebrow and then it turned the eye like the eyebrow into weird sort of splotchy brown on his face it kind of um it preserved the smugness of the character I mean I know he's it not did. supposed to yeah. be smug but he looks smug to me no he no that no the dude's a smug motherfucker he he says like people say oh like, you know, you sell some of your produce, and then Pierre sells it locally, and then someone's like, oh, I bought the most amazing melon from Pierre. Like, you sell a melon to him, right? Mm -hmm. Like an Iridium Star melon. Mm -hmm. And someone in town's like, I bought, a, like, an awesome melon from Pierre the other day. He said he grew it in his own backyard. Like, guess you got competition. And it's like, he blatantly is saying, oh, yeah, I grew this. Right, because he's a piece of shit. I knew yeah. you were a piece of shit, Pierre. Pierre sh of shit. <laughs> um, somebody in chat says it looks like Christopher Walken, and I agree with you. It does look more like Christopher Walken than the one that I thought looked like Christopher Walken. Yeah. Um, I got Robin here now. Uh, we've been waiting for Robin. I'm sure a lot of people are waiting for Robin. Everybody loves Robin, right? Robin's a, f oh, a, f a fan favorite, right? 87 Octane, by the way. 31 months. Wow. Thank you so much, Octane. A, quote 31 months of this this wouldn't have i wouldn't have it any other way thanks for all the good times and the laughs and everything i appreciate it a lot Mike it's a really you too chat love y'all a really Come sweet on. message octane thank you mm -hmm. uh, again i know i missed a lot of your subs tonight my plan is to do it at the end of the stream because again i don't want to like interrupt my guest and, and all that um, so at the end of the stream i'm going to look and see read out the names of everybody who subbed and thank you guys individually um all right, so Robin, um, we're getting short on time here, and I don't have that many left, so it's all good. Oh, Rev, thank you for the raid, bud. Welcome to hell. Um, <laughs> Robin, what do you think it did with Robin? Okay, Robin is going to be facing to the right. It's going to do that again. Okay, it, like shifts okay. the face over. Okay. Um, and the body is going to become a horrifically massive chin. I was fucking right yes, on were. both. Yes. Yep. You got this thing I down was... to a science. I, I have this. I understand this algorithm completely now. It's like Trump Bowie. It abs. I was gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> it's Chloe. It's literally the orange too, like the awful orange mm -hmm. spray tan. The. Mm -hmm. The toupee. <clears throat> I would like to direct your attention to the massive goiter. The goiter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Like Massive that's... fucking goiter. It made her jacket into neck meat. <laughs> <laughs> I was... I called it. I called it so fucking hard. Okay, this guy, he surfs. Again, it's gender swapped. You didn't call that. I'm surprised you didn't call the okay, gender swap. Okay, you're right. I, I didn't say that. I should have said that. <laughs> he surfs. Okay, he um, he doesn't smoke weed, but he takes CBT oil. All right, cock and ball torture oil. Um, he's a massive Pink Floyd fan. Um, and he can play some uh, Pink Floyd songs on bass guitar. Um, and he's got turf bank surf and turf. <laughs> <laughs> surf and turf, fuck. Righteous. Yeah, righteous. Yeah, righteous. Yeah, nice. 
Um, those teeth, though, he brushes. He's got good dental hygiene, obviously. Um, but but look, he's still a little magical. Uh, he's got the gem up on the top right. Uh, yeah, there's the gem. He might uh, like he he does cocaine, but he only does it in. The, he like does freezes where he rubs the cocaine on his gums. He never snorts it. <laughs> right. He never snorts it. All right. We got, uh, yeah, someone in Shao's point, Hollow Monster okay. is pointing out. 10 minutes, 10 minutes. I only have two of these left. Okay, let's go. Right. This one's excellent, Fred. Okay. It's Willy. Now, how many people here want to fuck Willy? Show of hands. Who, who wants to fuck Willy? How many people have been begging Concerned Ape? To make an update where you can fuck Willy. I've seen that a lot. I've seen that a lot. Really? Alright, well, as of today, chat, I okay, am... Okay, no, 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 hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm gonna say that the shirt becomes a massive neck. The beard becomes a chin. No. Uh, no? Let, let me just say this. So for everybody who wants to fuck Willy, as of today, chat, I am officially with you. What? Yup. Read him and weep, buddy. No. Read him and weep. <laughs> Read him and weep. No. Oh no, he's hot. <laughs> Fred has left the building. She he becomes a Steven Universe character. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what is that? A uh, 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 what's a blue gem? What is a blue gem? Uh, a sapphire? This is sapphire, yeah. Fred, yeah, allow me yeah, to introduce you to the, the new Steven Universe character, Sapphire. <laughs> oh, God. What do you think? How did this happen? How? 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 Well, Lapis already exists, Turbo Tales. How the fuck did this happen? How? Where? The what? original is hotter. <laughs> but... Big glow up for Willie. No, I know it's a what? SpongeBob joke, Gubbington. D dude, I I think again the thing just what? shit. I think the thing just shit itself, and was like, it just get the fuck out of Russia. It was like, just get the fuck out. It was like, here you go, take this Russian and get out. She looks also like Lois. Have a gem. What, like Lois Griffin, a little bit? Yeah, the gem is squarely in, in the middle of her forehead. Um. Maybe this is a gem fusion of like Willy and Pam or something. Peter. This looks like you know what this is. This this looks like it belongs on a piece of like dystopian propaganda encouraging you to get your forehead gem installed. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> oh my god. Yeah, it's like a fucking tracking chip and shit. Oh my mm -hmm. god. Don't forget Get your forehead gem installed so you can be happy like the rest of us. You can be happy like this woman. Where is his beard? Where is his shirt? Where is his hat? Where is his anything? Anything! <laughs> this makes me- Why does this make me so irrationally Fred, angry? Spibby, Spibby like says, got... Spibby says it's like XCOM posters. <laughs> it's- <laughs> Fred loves XCOM. I do. I actually, um, I prefer Mechanicus now. Uh, it's your new your new like, jam. I think yeah, Mechanicus. I, I I shared with you the the edit that I did of it. I have Just surrendered my X. forehead to the gem, and I've never been happier. Does it look like the guy at all? If you shrink the image, what do you think? I mean, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> um. By the way, Concerned Ape uh, tweeted the other day and said that they're working on a, on a part of the new update has a, an extension to Willie's shop. Did you, anybody see that on Twitter? Yeah, I saw that. So meaning you, you maybe, and, and I looked in the replies and everybody was like, can I fuck Willie? We can fuck Willie now? We can fuck Willie? So don't tell me none of you want to fuck Willie because so, somebody wants to fuck Willie, okay? T take him to the to the lighthouse. A Willie extension. Yeah, Willie extension. Oh, stop. Mm. God damn it. So there right, you go, one there's Willie. One. You got one last one before you gotta go. It's the wizard. The wizard. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. No, no, no. We're gonna get hat hair again. 
Um, and mm -hmm. um, the jacket is going to become neck. Okay. And it's going to interpret the... Mm, I think that the facial features are going... No, it's going to have the little light spots in his hair be his eyes, and his eyes are going to become weird discolorations on his face. Yep. Wow. It's just the governor part two. It's just... <laughs> Gave up. <laughs> I was completely wrong. It just gave up again. Who does this look like, though? Like this looks like someone, but I can't put my finger on it. It it, it looks, it looks like a frat guy that called me gay while walking. I never actually had a frat guy call me gay walking down the street, but it looks like he would do that. And what had happened was he fell asleep at a frat party. He got very drunk, and then they just put a bunch of purple shit all over him. He looks to fuck with him. He. He looks like an older um, Violet Beauregard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she never did fully recover from that incident at, uh, at the chocolate factory, did she? Uh, yeah. Uh, maybe like... Look at those eyebrows. I, I fucking... I don't... I don't... I don't know. He just... Uh, the guy makes wine and he spends a lot of time stomping around on the grapes. Right, so it gets all over his it gets all over his body, right? Again, it it had no idea what the fuck to do. It just gave up. So I just gave up. This is a dude he really loves. You know, he enters blueberry pie eating competitions, and he's a real fucking slob when he does it. He somehow managed to get it everywhere but on his mouth. Right to the point where it's like <laughs> people are dubious because like how much of that pie actually went into your body. Right? It's like, do you really deserve the title of pie eating <laughs> it competition it, winner? It calls when his, most of the pie didn't go in your mouth. It calls his victory into question, right? Right, yeah. Mm. But nobody wants to say anything because calling like the legitimacy of a pie eating contest into question just sounds like a really dumbass thing to do. And it is. Um Thanos the younger years, maybe. Um, before he developed a scrotum chin. Um, but that is the last one, guys. And as you know, in five minutes, we are going to start that uh, that Red Vox stream. So I'm going to raid that Red Vox channel uh, at that time. Um, I don't know if he's live. I don't know if he's going to be live or, or whatever. I'm just going to I'm just going to raid it at ten. Uh, I have a couple of things to say. Um, firstly, just as a teaser for part two, um, I have here. Uh, okay, so I have all the ones that the chat did, and I also did some Final Fantasy characters. Guys, they are fucking great. Uh, I didn't do too many because the algorithm didn't like the Final Fantasy character portraits. But I have one character for Final Fantasy 4, and I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 characters from Final Fantasy uh, 6. Uh, and some of these are just... I, I cannot wait for you to fucking see these. They're fantastic. So the next time we do this, we'll look at these. And we'll look at the ones that chat did. Right? There's no Kefka because Kefka doesn't have a character portrait. Uh, and like I said, most of these it just rejected, right? Um, another thing I want to say is thank you, Fred, for hanging out with me tonight. Yeah, thank you. I it had see a good time. It uh, seemed like you did. At, I'm glad. I, I, I had a fantastic time uh, looking at the problematic Russian man generator. Thank Russian. you so much for doing this with me, bud. It was, it was good. Because again, good Fred's time. a big, a big Stardew fan. Seemed like a no-brainer to have Fred come hang out. Um, just send them to me on Discord, Calvin. If you made, if anybody made any, just send them to me on Discord. Um, and if you can't get them to me on Discord, that's probably because I, I don't know. I, I'm not like adding people as friends. I, I, it's, people are. I'll deal with it. Okay. Before I go, I really quickly want to thank the people that subbed. Thank you for the subs, resubs, bits. Guys, I really appreciate it. Um, if anybody is new to the channel, you can find me on social media, and you can find me on YouTube. The links will be in the chats. Um, let me head over to my creator dashboard so I can thank you guys individually uh, for your yeah. subs. Uh, let me see the last... 
All right, three hours ago, Bloomin' Feel to the Family, Albino Octopus, uh, Rad Sanderson, Clonic, Clohinx, Feel to the Family, Oven Mint, Toxic Avenger, Caprine Sun, Kaiser Fluffy Wuffy, Feel Back to the Family. Thank you so much, guys. Hover Squid, Serbian Teardrop, Mirot, Feel Back to the Family. Serbian Teardrop with 33 months, Mirot with 29. Thank you, guys. Uh, Eagle Cohort Dom, uh, Octane, again, and Efric. Feel back to the family. Thank you for those uh, subs and resubs. Uh, new sub from Hover Squid. Thank you. Uh, and welcome to the family, Hover, Hover Squid. Uh, and I think that's it for tonight. So, again, thank you guys. Uh, obviously, we're not going to look at art because we've run out of time. Yeah, you got to scoot. You got 30 seconds. So, I'm going to end the stream. And I'm going to raid the Red Vox uh, Twitch channel. I'll see you guys over there. I'll be in the chat. I'll come hang out. Check out the album. It'll be a good time. Uh, if not, have a great night. Uh, and I'll see you soon. Yeah. Stay tuned for Just part two. It. Yeah, you're going to host it here, right? So people don't have to go? Yup. Okay, good. So stick around if you want to see it.